lot of laughter and cheer. Oh, now all the bad people. Talk about the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy, Barry. And this is Jay Willow, the podcast killer, aka Podcast Poppy, aka the Pie Father. And this is Willow Wednesdays, where you about to get some motherfucking ghetto news from your motherfucking relationship gurus. <laughs> Bow, gang, hold that. I charted, you heard? <laughs> Sorry. Don't hit That's me with the Jeopardy. Funny. Sorry. Don't hit me with the that Jeopardy. The timing button. on that is Don't hit me funny. with the Jeopardy. It was a terrible break. Don't funny. hit me with the Jeopardy. I was trying to do the gunshots, but... <laughs> but what's, what's going on, family? How we doing? Can I see some thumbs across the screen? What's Let's up, some, everybody? Hey, everybody? Real quick, real quick. Let's bring some energy. Let's bring some energy. Let's bring some energy. Thumbs, 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 thumbs across thumbs, the screen. Thumbs, 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 you say that joint here every time. We got a good show. Let's we gonna talk it. about it tonight. You know I'm saying? Everybody hit the share button, please. Everybody. I want everybody right now. Hit the share button. I like the thumbs. Thank you for the love. Tag somebody. Bring somebody to church. How we doing? Everybody come. Everybody tag somebody. Share it. Tag one person who ain't never seen this show before. I need you to tag that close friend. I like that. Somebody who ain't never seen this show. Never, ever, ever seen the damn show before. Yeah. Tag him, tag him right now, right yeah, now, right too. now, right now. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is you gonna sh- you gonna share the page? Did you share the page? I already did, but what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post my post as the what you call it, the announcement. So it's at the top of the group. Come on now, I've been learning tricks. And shit. Okay, cool. Okay, we could take down your flyer for the party last week. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, it should have been gone. It should have been gone. It should have been gone. I, I feel like I'd be hating if I moved it. Tag, wow, how was that? Hate? Share it, tag your side chick and the wife. Ooh, he's Ooh. over here saying that. Ooh. I didn't say that. Listen, Ooh. tag your side, tag your side chick, chick and the Who wife. Said that? What's Barry, up? Starting with you. Go. Go. Side chick and side wife. Chick, huh? Side chick first. Huh? Go. Tag your side chick. What's up, I bro? I don't have a side chick. No. Oh, tag that's your not wife. What she think? Oh, well, she don't know. I'm, I'm Another don't know. one of them situations. Do you notify the side that they're the side? Yes. Yeah. If you want to keep a positive side relationship, yes. I say yes. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I okay. 100% agree. Okay. If you want to keep it positive, yeah. yeah. Like if you out here talking about baby, you know I don't got nobody else but you. Oh yeah, that's toxic. Oh, that's the worst. That's bro. toxic. That's lying. Like yeah, you lying out your oh, teeth. Is. Whenever you hear the woman say, you know he gonna get divorced soon. Oh. <laughs> like yo, I'm gonna leave niggas, her. But niggas do be getting divorced soon though. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's I'm gonna leave her. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, that's bad. Away. Yo, I'm going to leave her. So when you going to leave her? I'm going to leave her soon. I'm going to just leave her. Okay, okay, really quick. So we watch a lot of movies and that's happened, but does that really happen in real life? Like, do men say that? Oh, I'm going to leave leave her for you? Yes. I definitely. Yes. Yes. Like whole marriages, they say that? Yes. Yo, but you see why niggas ain't shit? You see? That's a fact. No, niggas ain't shit for real. Yeah, women do it too. Mm. People do that. Yeah, I would say people do that. That's not just a man thing. Uh Okay, so women really like, I'm going to leave my husband for you? Yes. Word? Yes, I've, I mean I've, I, I don't know. I'm people be waiting. They typically people be waiting doing for something. Some shit. It could be a settlement. It could be the check to clear. It could be the divorce papers. It could just it could be, be with. I've heard girls. Okay, but that's different. I've if heard we're in niggas, a divorce proceedings. Then I've heard I get niggas that. say, "Yo, I'm just waiting for her to get on her feet so that right. I could keep leave her." I've heard. Wow. Niggas, I've heard. Wow. I've heard women say, "Yo, I'm just waiting Ooh, for her to fuck question. up one more time." Mm-hmm. I got a good question. Go ahead, talk to me. Black men don't cheat. That's a fact. Black, black men definitely don't cheat. But I, I, <laughs> you just sparked something. You just sparked something in me. I'm glad. I'm saying, and that has brought something out of me. That oh I got to talk about. <laughs> I think we got a breakthrough. No, nah, but um, okay. So would you leave someone when they're at their lowest? Mm. Or do you wait till they're back on their feet and they're good and then leave them? Mm. It's do according you, to do how you bad leave I them when go. they're at the lowest of lows. Yeah, yeah you went up. Talking about <laughs> do you leave them at the lowest, or do you wait till they're at their lowest and you bring them up? They they, they they riding high, and then you're like, you know what, I'm out. Riding high. Talk to me. Can we one or two that? Mm. Okay, so if you leave him. Mm. You, leave him at the uh, I'm, I'm, you know we we creative right now. We love the studio. That's true. I'm a, oh. I'm, I'm freestyle. Fuck it. No. Leave at the lowest. Stay at the no no no. no. Leave, leave at the, the lowest, lowest or leave at the highest. <laughs> leave at the lowest or leave at the highest. Leave at the lowest or leave at the highest. Leave at the lowest or leave at the highest. You gonna leave when it's low? Leave. Leave. Or you gonna leave when it's high? Leave. Leave. 
leave. You gon' leave when they blow? I don't know. Leave. You gon' leave when they cry? Leave. I don't know. If you leave, you alive. You alive. You gon' leave when you die. You die when you die. If you leave, you gon' try. When you leave, you gon' try. That's a little morbid. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, I was freestyling. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we just left the studio. Fuck it. Where the funeral? Somebody. Where the funeral? Where the funeral? Where the funeral? Whoever had the album called Funeral Home coming soon. Whoever hacked the Will of One J's first track called Paul Bearer. <laughs> wow! Uh, whoever hacked, whoever hacked the Willow Wednesday's page said, "Leave him at their lowest." It builds character. Damn. Hey, I, honestly, I mean, listen. If we, unless if, it's if, if we in a relationship, gurus, let's talk about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I oh. feel good today. Okay. Why do I, I feel I, good today? Champagne. I see. <laughs> I see. I see. Let's just call it what it is. I see. <laughs> now, okay, so let's talk about it. Does that really build, build who got character? The, who got the sponsor? <laughs> oh shit! You got it. You tried uh, to take it, huh? I watch you. See, I did. I, <laughs> I, I'm I watch like, you. I was sitting there. I was like, why I always got to ask for it? Why can't I just, why can't I, why can't I just, I can't I just, just hold it? it. <laughs> oh, now, man. I respect that. Nah, I, respect I fuck that. with it. Um, now, so shout out to the sponsor real quick. That's a fact. But what's up? Are you leaving at the lowest or are you leaving at the highest? What are we doing? Me, uh, leaving at the lowest or leaving at the highest? I, I don't really. Uh, shit, it's, it's according to what I'm leaving for. Because I'm maybe leaving <laughs> because you low. Pardon me. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. I feel I'm like not going to lie. That's a real thing. Yeah, that's, that's a little. I feel like that's kind of. Okay, so why would you be with them if they were low? They might well, not. They might no, not no, it's the same thing we just said. They got low. Yeah. Got you. So <laughs> you, when you, you were with them, they was fine. Yeah, yeah. Then after that, they was um, they I'm, I, yeah, <laughs> low. I, I feel like I might. I'm going to leave when they're high. I, I would, you talking about you going to smoke a blunt and then roll out? I'm going to leave. When roll they, out. Come on. Um, I'm gonna leave yeah, when they high. Show sure they <laughs> top back roll out. That song is fire. I was listening to that way. Let roll out. What the hell's in that bag? What, what you got, got in, in that, that bag? bag? Right, focus, yo, Luda. God damn, he was he was on some shit. Yeah, nah, for a I'm long time. He was trying to say that was a corny song. I was Tripping. Like, I, I know. Tripping. Tripping. Fuck. Yo, Luda did so much lyrically. For music. Lyrically, Come that on. song is. We not even stay on topic. God damn it. Go on, we can do this. You said you gonna leave when they high. Why? Because hey, I, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> I see where we going today. Oh, oh yeah, because um, they're going to sleep faster. <laughs> yeah. oh, you can sneak out the back, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it there high because they, I feel like that then they are able to deal with the trauma of me leaving. Cause they high. Well, I, okay. I'm sorry, storm y'all. Cause I'm literally saying yes. it, when their situation is. Yeah, the but they're better. <laughs> they're better equipped to handle it. Whether I'm gonna go opposite because of that same very thing. Why? Um. If someone was low and then they got high, mm. they might be fragile. So if you bring them back low, that shit might be the straw that broke the camel back. Mm. But uh, let me ask now you this. got somebody jumping off the bridge like, Bari, yeah, why'd yeah, yeah. you leave? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel you. But when when in your lowest point, you, you, you don't need somebody, but you would really like somebody to be there or that person to be there for them to then say, you know what? I'm it's also this. according it's to like how a, low. It's it's according, actually, I, I, but at least, at least if you low, you can't get no lower. But it's, it's you say to that, but low, low yeah. you can get how low. Can you go? You can get lower. It's than according low. to how low. You know, I've I've dated women that got really low, like to the point where uh, inebriation. Um, I was about to say inebriation, but like alcoholism, Drug. drugs yeah. type. Mm-hmm. It's low, low, like like. Okay, you about to steal my damn PlayStation type, I, you know? No, no, oh, no. Nah. Yeah, somebody, I'm not yo, dealing with no thieves. Now you say that yeah. now, but they, and then, they but, but you know, I'm there day one when you about to, you know, the rehab, and I'm like, you know, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you oh made God. it. Wow. Well, <laughs> like, yo, Josh, talk but you gotta know how to flip that. You gotta <laughs> be like, you, you gotta know how to flip it. You gotta be like, you know what? Right now, you can't focus on me because you going up. So because of that, I need you to just focus on what you Talk to me, Josh, do. please, because that, that level yeah. of toxicity is, that that is, that is high on my right-hand side. Yeah. The only way that I'm going to do it where, like, I'm going to maybe wait until they're feeling a little bit better is if I feel like me telling them that I'm going to leave them, they're going to be suicidal from it. That's the only time. Okay. But in yeah. every other instance, you know, what's it called? If I have to be the person who, if I have to become the thing that you'd be like, well, fuck that dude, you mm-hmm. know, and I would call it like he broke up with me when I was at my lowest and that makes you elevate to where you want to be. I'm actually cool with that. I'm cool yeah, with that you too. did your job. I'm, like, I'm, I'm cool with that too. I'm actually cool with that. I'm like, I'll look at that and be like, maybe we don't ever talk That's again. Motivation, but, right? you know, but if But if I was being good about it and I was just like, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm being real with you because you, we all know like because like if you take someone when they're high, 
at their highest, you if when you tell them that you're only going to bring them down, that's like there's it. not they're that's not true. going up from that. They they're going to be going hey, down if, from that. I'm saying, but I feel like when they're high, they 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 there's some. But that could be the term. But no, but it sound different. It's a it's a cushion because he's Jamaican, so he throw an extra H. Every time you say high, I'm like. No, nah, but how many but it's ago, but how many people you know, like whether you know them personally or not, like they was soaring and they took that one thing, that one thing to change them. Yeah. To change them and it mm-hmm. fucked their whole shit. Forever. Forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forever. Forever. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know? Shit. Mm. Amara said I was left at my lowest, changed me forever. Yeah. I don't think I can put someone through that. Okay, that's valid. Mm. It's perspective. I guess everyone has their perspective. How can you stay around when someone wanna leave that literally puts the person in their lows? Okay, he's saying I'm pretty much. I guess he's saying that towards me. How can because... you stay around someone you want to leave? Right, that's true. Like, how do you premeditate? Like, okay, shit. I'm I don't. A, I'm gonna I'm I'm help you do this, but as soon as you get on your feet, I'm gone. Also, you're yeah, disrespecting yourself and the person by sticking around. But that's Barry been doing that. Barry toxic. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is true. Mediator, that is, moderator, that is... roll call, selector, <laughs> station, temporary level, always toxic. Barry. You know, Gas, gas station, station pill, pill Barry. Barry. <laughs> Come on now. Half, it's a half. It's a half a pill. A half <laughs> a pill, Barry. <laughs> half <laughs> pill. Half um, pill. My boy, half P. Half P. Half P B. Half P B. Half P B. Wow. My son half pill Bari. They wow. have over here. Yo, half P B. Your crazy. ability we to gonna make spend, nicknames. We're like gonna I spend like I'm, ten I'm minutes running down the names. Mediator, I, moderator, y'all don't have call, no nicknames. Snitching, temporary <laughs> level. I, I, I hope y'all realize y'all Always have no nicknames. Always toxic. Half P B Bari. <laughs> Damn. Selective snitching. Selective snitching on the PBs. <laughs> All right, man. Snitching, real quick. Can you imagine snitching on a the fucking gas station? Gas station? <laughs> Barry, snitching I'm on, on a, gas. I took a gas station pill and now I'm snitching. That's wow. OD. Um, I right, am, <laughs> HPB. No, Are I don't we, mean you're um... directed towards me, but I'm saying it's like I get that you you're putting yourself in a position to 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 deal with the person when you don't want to deal with them anymore because, but it could be honorable too because you're out here looking for looking out for their best interests. I'm just throwing a caveat to it because you could be like, you know what? I know this person can be very low right now, and I don't want to hit it where it hurts the most. So I'm gonna wait till you're better, where I feel like you can take a blow, then I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> eh. uh, I don't know. What's the topic? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. The topic? There's yeah. no answer to that, people. I'm just saying. I just freestyle that question because like it's the topic. Hey man, put this up. HPV sounds like a disease. It do. Damn. Damn. It, damn. it do. It's HPV. HPV. That, they, 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 HPV. Damn. Human papillova bari. Yeah. Human papillova <laughs> virus. <laughs> I think I think I said it wrong. What, what the hell is a papillova? Pap- yeah. Pam, how do you say it? I actually don't know how to pronounce this one. Don't know everybody look over. <laughs> Everyone look yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that was the first time I was like, I was like, he don't know it. Papiloma? Yeah. Wow. So I don't know. It's either like patholoma or path or pavloma. One pavloma. Yeah. Google it. Pavilova. What's HPV stand for? Human right. pavlova. Get the, uh, pap- get the, get the topics, bro. Pavlova pap- 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 virus. Help papoose <laughs> violin. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Is dysfunction necessary for a good relationship? I, I love that topic. That's a great topic line. Yeah, yeah. that's a great. It's dysfunction that comes off of the Cardi B situation. Cardi B. One, one more certain. game. One more game. Is dysfunction necessary? Don't do that. Is function is dysfunction necessary for a good relationship? Mm. Why is monogamy a requirement for men when sex is only a choice for women? What? Oh, I thought you were talking about me. It's what's Papilloma virus. Pap- Say it again. Papilloma. 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 So is yeah. is genital warts? That's no. HPV. No. no. You get warts. It's a that's a like one of the. Side oh, it's one of the symptoms. Okay. Symptoms, yeah, but it's I not just warts. Damn, the symptoms, genital warts. Nah, I'm straight. <laughs> if that's a symptom, symptom, another disease. Facts. <laughs> no, I'm Yo. straight. I don't um, want yeah. it. I don't want it. <laughs> why, I don't want it. Why is monogamy <laughs> a requirement for men? Oh my! I'm sorry. God. Go ahead. Why is monogamy a requirement for men when sex is only a choice for women? Yes, and that came from that viral clip that's been going around for the past for, week or so from that married couple um, for this show. Shout so we're gonna, we gonna hit that. Um, Do you have the answers? Yeah, I screenshotted. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we 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 surveyed some of some of shout out some to of every, the, all the women who answered the beautiful gave, women in, that in uh, gave us some group. answers. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna yes, read we're those. Gonna read it and yeah. discuss it and give counterpoints or whatever. Um. Would you rather be proposed to in private or in front of family or friends? Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Should men have financial standards when it comes to dating women? And what should those standards be? 
I like that, that one too. For the, for, from the woman? Yeah, she like, you know how women will have, okay, a man needs to make this certain amount. This gotcha. is a minimum requirement for me to date this man. Yeah, should men Should men have that same? That's a good t- Yo, who the fuck came up with these topics? I came up with that one. No, that, that was a good one. Yeah, you shitting me? I was watching something and I saw it. That was good. Um, you typically like, what, is this fat ass? Yeah, 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 Barry <laughs> come through with it. <laughs> like, Listen, if y'all see Barry topics every week, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I gotta yeah. understand. You know when you gotta have balance? These niggas would want to talk about Nah, Bari. Certain shit all day, every Bari day. Bari be like, if one fat ass is weighing eight pounds, but another fat ass weighing 12 pounds. Which one you which, want? Which one's perpendicular to the, the circumference? Like, what the fuck which you Which one you about? want? Shit. <laughs> Depends. I hate, I hate Bari topics. But they <laughs> they em. are the, the, the best. They're the backbone. Of, they're the, <laughs> they're the backbone, backbone of Willow Wednesdays. Because it's the fuck it is. Got shit. <laughs> Dating while pregnant. Wow. Have you ever? Would you ever? Mm. Who wrote this? Oh, Dame did. Yeah, it came from a um, came from another post, but I just have to read. Okay, dating yes, while yes, prego. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Have you ever? Would you ever? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Where we sparking it at? Um, I want to start real quick with Nigeria. Prayers to Nigeria, because if you don't know, a lot of people. What was it? The twentieth. Uh, the government just. Allow Saw us, yeah. So open fire yeah. on on protesters in Nigeria. So prayers for everybody in Nigeria. I Wait, really, really quick, my bad. I have to address this. I'm sorry. Shout out to Janice Thompson. She says that anyone famous on the show, if you didn't fucking know who you watching, this is Willow Wednesdays. It's you are Bari, right? nigga. Okay. Wow. Okay. The fuck. Let me tell you something about this wow. panel right here. This is Damo. Never been a lame mo. Wow. This is that boy Bari, and this is I just charted. Fuck you, mean Jay Willa. Okay. Wow. Get familiar. Stay around. And tag he was somebody. On, and he was on my album. You feel me? Tag somebody. Bring somebody wow. to church at the same time what kind of porn you watch shit shit me whoa yeah we in here copy board mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, disrespect yeah wow mm-hmm. well if you stick around you'll see what the show is about oh no i shit you shitting me all right but yeah but um now they, to nigeria for yo, real Ultra one Society. one they are bugging out over there What's, yeah, the what is really they happening they're just shooting at the sars people sars is a um people have sars no it's Oh, the, I really don't know. Yo, the, it's like the, a, the, I'm ignorant to this. I got, I got the government is literally like fucking people up in the streets. Just yes. for like, wilding. Wilding. Like, oh, they're protesting. Right. It's, it's police brutality, but they are wilding. Like, people are fi- like they're, they're popping up in ditches. Right. They're being thrown and killed in rivers. Like, the government is old. And SARS D- is a. Uh, um, how do you describe so SARS? So SARS is not SARS like we used no, to No, SARS is a... Oh, okay. No, my bad. I ain't trying to be stupid. It's like a, really a department within the police department. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like SWAT, almost. Mm. Got you. Okay. Fair enough. You know they special... No, but they kidnapping people in their sleep. They busting doors down. They mm. snatching people up. They and killing, killing them. Killing people in cold yeah. blood. So wow. people of Nigeria are protesting police brutality. And this is Africa, bro. Mm. This is the motherland, and bro. And then apparently from what I heard, they ended SARS to then open up another department that's just like SARS. And they hired the same people that they kicked out of SARS in that new department. And they're doing the exact it's same 2. thing. SARS 2.0. Yeah, that's some American shit right there. That is some uh, American like, shit. They, they said, it. okay, you said end SARS, end SARS. SWAT. Cool. Kill them. Damn. That's so, crazy. No, but I, I I know we're making light of it. It's, it's a really, it, it, it's, it's a it's serious terrible. thing. So please, prayers it, to, it is to terrorism. Nigeria. Prayers, it is terrorism. Prayers, prayers. Domestic it's terrorism. terrorism. Not domestic. It's terrorism from the government. Like the, the, government the, the people is, who are, are, are sanctioned to govern you are literally busting down your doors o- the government, and killing you. And then the government civilians. opened, the like, government gave them permission to open fire on protesters yet, Damn. yesterday. Damn. I don't know how yeah. many, I don't know what the death, the, the number count is. That's crazy. Hey, does anybody know the number count? I don't know the number count. All I know is I was surprised to hear about that in Nigeria. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Country. Nigeria's that's a, that's, supposed to be kind of chill. That's the country I was not expecting to hear it from. Definitely mm-hmm. prayers for Nigeria. It's, right. it's wicked over there. I have friends who from Nigeria. I have there's some people whose families are out there, and they're like worried, sick. They haven't heard from their families in days, and mm-hmm. so prayers to those families. Prayers to Nigeria yeah, as a country. Prayers to Africa. Period. Because it's too much. Foolishness and craziness is going on over there. Oh, yeah. The shit in the Sudan that was going on <laughs> earlier. Like, like, come on, man. It's Sudan. Sudan. That was going on last year. I was born. Like, that shit was crazy. The, the, Jesus. All right. That's anyway. Impressive. Come on, yes, guys. Yes, let's, yes, let's yes, start. Yes, let's yes, yes. Give me something good. Yeah, something good. Uh, let me ask you. Would you, rather to be, would you rather be proposed to in private mm. or in front of family and friends? Mm. 
or would I rather propose to someone in private? Well, yeah. Or, okay. The way the question was written oh, was... Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah, because would I rather be proposed to? I'm, I'm not going to be proposed to. Right, right, right. right. The proposal <laughs> process. The proposal... Would you want to do it in private or in the front of family process. and friends? Um, now, as someone who recently proposed to his wife and did that... Oh, so uh, she said yes. She did. She okay, had no cool. Cool. Sh- Shit, and me. We got married. It's all you see. It's on the hand. Man, man, ain't playing know, games out here. Men's pops are, you know. Um, but yo, would you have been tight if she said no? Yeah, absolutely. Would you still talk? Hey, to her? No. <laughs> but we've, we've had this conversation too I many know, times. But now, like, if I propose and you say no, but now the relationship happened, is done. I'm sorry. Say, now that, There's no coming back from that. Okay, all right. I'm good. Mm-hmm. How the fuck do you come back from that? Yeah. I'm, maybe I'm ignorant, but that's yeah. me. I don't. I don't know how to come back from that if I propose and she hey, says no. I don't take L's well. You feel me? So once you tell me no, it's like, well, shit. I mean, this was good while it lasted. You, you're not gonna be on some. It's cool. We could work through this and then not. Shout to Sister again. Evangela Mason on what's this. That, what's the happening? Lord. Evangelist Evangela hey, Mason. Hallelujah. What's sister, ah, I feel the spirit um, coming. Okay. So yeah. So when you proposed, it was okay. So yeah. So, so, so back to my story, right? Um. The only reason why that happened was because it was a surprise to me of the party that she had thrown, and it, and it was a surprise to her of what my intentions were. Okay, that's the only reason why it was in front of people. Mm. I was nervous as fuck. Yeah, and I much rather me being Jay Will and me being all loud mouth and shit. Right, I'll hop on the stage and perform for an hour. I'll do that, but stuff like intimate stuff like that, I kind of like to keep intimate. So when I was going to propose and she said, that, hey, this is a birthday dinner for just me and you going out, I was like, okay, this is a perfect time. Right. So okay. I, was ex- I was expecting it to be a me and her thing. Got you. So when I pop Very up nice. and there's 20 people there, I'm like, oh, shit. Uh-huh. Now I'm like, oh. Fresh is on. Uh, <laughs> I, I ain't going to lie to you. He, I got to propose for he, real. He, he walked to the bar and he told some of us to go to the bar and he bought around the shots because he's like, yo, I don't, I don't know if I, whoo, I don't know if I <laughs> <laughs> got a little warm in there, you know, so. What up, Miles? It, it, nah, it, facts. I that, would say I'd want to do it in private as well because I feel like the shame of it is like, yo, hey, yeah. everybody, I'm about to propose to my woman. And she'd be like, yo, Bari, I don't even know if I'm really ready oh, for that. But you see, that's... In front you... of your... In front of my mom's... <laughs> Fuck everybody else. No offense I, to y'all, but in front of my mom, she'd be like, oh, I'm I, not. She'd yeah. just be like, mm, poor baby, come. <laughs> I, don't need, <laughs> I don't need that. You get the terrible <laughs> consolation. Like, like, oh, poor baby, come. <laughs> like, I don't need that, dog. Poor, like, like, you want another shot, bro? <laughs> 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 Yo, you, want, you want another plate, dog? Like, All right. think about it. Imagine you, you proposed chicken over here. right then and there, and she said no <laughs> in front of the whole table. Yeah. And it was like 11, 12 of us there. Right. But like like I said, I me personally, if I propose... And the young lady says no. I, I kind of. But the only reason why I, I even get there is because I'm not going to just propose all willy nilly. I would feel like we're at a certain level. Yeah. It's like, all right, cool, let's make this happen. That's so if I misread that that badly, yeah. and I'm way off, and she's like, what are you doing? Right. We got to end this because obviously we're not on the same train of thought right now. So yeah. it's all right. Because I, I, like, I want to propose. But I kind of feel like I'm probably gonna be to have that conversation with you already. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, well, of course. I feel like there's like, always it, the not, prerequisite. Like you say, it ain't just no ah, married. Yeah. No, 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 no. You gonna be like, never. so if you, what if we would have like do this kind of like? Yeah, like sorta. how would you? You know, you, you gonna know, throw the feeler out there and see what she say? See, and, and and like I may not tell you I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but I'm gonna be dropping some hints to where you understand it. it this may be happening soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, I I'm gonna have my sister call you and say, hey, I'm trying to pick out a ring, but yeah, my, just I don't know my ring size. What's your ring size? Just something. Something random. Just something. Like, Cause I, no. You know, mm-hmm. Send feelers out. Yeah, Come I, just, on now. I, I ain't Mm-mm. trying to be all embarrassed like that. Mm-mm. And then and then don't don't fuck up and propose to me. Then I might say no. Yeah. I'm, See? And that was another way. I'm a man with pride. You don't do shit like that. Like, <laughs> you don't hang So let me know. ask you a question. Like, what if, like let's that. say she didn't propose Especially to you in front of people, right? But let's say. You didn't ask the question, and then she, y'all was in the confines of the crib, and she was like, "Yo, like, can we do this for real? Can like, can we get married?" If she was to hit you on some shit like that, well, that's not a proposal. How? What? That's no, not no. a proposal get, is we... dropping down on knees, yeah. with a ring in your hand. That's yeah. what I see a proposal is. If you like, yo, what's up? Like, that's that high school shit. Yo, you trying to be my girl? Like, what's up? We gonna do this? Hey. It don't work like that with a marriage. No. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta drop down on bend the knee and 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 make that thing a thing. He proposed something not even looking. He's not oh, even paying attention. Oh, go for it. It's your fire, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's still not paying attention. You, you, did I'm you, reading the comments. It's crazy. I like it when it's not subtle. Like, this, is, like this, is the, this is the best bash. <laughs> a word? <laughs> is hitting? But the question, the que- let's get back to the question. Yes. 
private or public? Yeah, Josh, talk to me. Private or public? So I did mine in private. Mm. Simone said that stupid shit worked. Like, it <laughs> did. I, def- I definitely called my sister. I was like, yo, I don't know what her ring finger is. Can you call her? And my sister was like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pick out a ring, but That's I don't hilarious. know. My hand and your hand is the same. What's your size? That's Maybe hilarious. That shit worked, though. Come on. I'm now. not going to Oh, lie. we got a troll in the comments. Oh, we got a troll? Oh, yeah. She said somebody wearing purple. I think she's talking about me. My shirt looked purple on camera. She said... The Yo, one. shout out she to said, our first troll. Oh, we she got said, a troll. She no, said, this is cool. Yeah, Janice said. <laughs> no, no, we is, lit. She said, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> we bro, we it. lit. We got a troll. Hey, yo, Janice please. Thompson. At the same time, don't, don't. I was going to read what it said so y'all know. I, I, don't I care? No, no. Uh, she, ooh, said, y'all need, she said, y'all need a female on the show. The okay. one in the purple is not feminine enough. I think she was talking about me probably because I, no I don't know who's in purple. I, okay. but may, I'm like, her look, it look kind of purple. Maybe me. Okay, cool. Yeah, and everybody in the, in the comments like, girl, we can cut your ass. You better shut the fuck That's up. That's why I'm, I'm loving but, this. But at the same time, let's do our show. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. Come but I'm excited. Um, cool. So let's get back to the topic at hand. Public or private? Yeah. So <laughs> like, like, what are we talking about? Um, so, yeah, tell me. What, yeah, so I did my... I did mine in private. I never had any intention of doing it in front of anybody mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things for me. I feel like this is just between me and you. And in the same way, in a callback to, like, when I just go in for the kiss or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you go 100. <laughs> you go 100. Oh, you go all the way. I'm going all the way. Like okay. I'm gonna, But I know. But yeah. the, the reason why I go all the way is because I feel like I know already. Mm. And, and the thing is, I'm just like, if you're just out here trying to be like, I'm doing this on, like, a wink and a prayer. Because we've been together for a while. I'm just like, that's the dumbest thing ever. Like, we had mad conversations, and I already knew what the answer was going to be. I was was just kind of going through the motions. Waiting for the time. Yeah, Yeah, I was just going through the motions. Mm -hmm. Like, Like, I didn't even try to pretend like, you know, I didn't even go through some other route to be like oh baby uh what's your ring size yeah, yeah. i want to do x y and z i was just so you're like fuck jay willis approach <laughs> i'm gangster yeah, yeah. I, I went in for the kill yeah no nah, i heard mean, you heard you and i then, respect i respect and then again, that I respect if you do that. get a no at least it's just a, you just disappointed you know what i'm saying like let's just say it, it i know just, but the relationship is still over <laughs> me, <laughs> i don't give a fuck if it's me by ourselves or yeah. if it's in the front of a crowd my son harry what up harry my son harry in the building oh, what's goody what's goody what's goody um. Yeah. I. Um. But I've seen that go sideways, and both parties and are what? like sad as hell. Like you talking about pump, like yeah, yeah, all the way. Yeah, because it's like I remember what's going. I had a homie who bad. proposed to somebody, proposed to a girl, and she said, she said, I don't know yet. Oh. But I, I and, to me, I get that. And, and, like, I, that and I get, and I understood it too, because she was just like, it doesn't. And she was like, I didn't want to end the relationship. I could have kept going. Because 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 it didn't mean I didn't want to maybe marry him down the road, but I just didn't know yet. Relationship over. Yeah, and I, 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 I and I, I wish he had. Damn, that. that's kind of like that changes. Yeah, that's you know that's with who? It yeah. does. With who? And I wish like and I wish he had asked somebody because I'm like, you know, if he if he had told like it came as a surprise to all of us. So we're like, wait, what? You did what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, not, and not because she, and not because she was bad either. Like you know, like we thought she was cool, but uh-huh. I was just like, yo, you've been dating for like a year. And mm. and not to say but not to say that you it can't be right in a year, but mm. for me personally, I'm just right. like you ain't been through enough shit together yet to Facts. to really know. That's just me though. Okay. Alright. Mm. Mm. Listen, like I said, if if I'm even I would Josh, me and you are the, 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 the same train of thought. Mm. If we even talking about it or even getting there, mm. trust you me, we had the conversation already. Yeah, we talked about we, it. We yeah, should right. know where we at. Yeah. I'm not dropping down on bend the knee on a whim. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I feel I, like we should I, be closer. You so feel me? Like I, I, I know this is a done deal. You said already. I shouldn't miss it that much. You, you feel what I'm trying to you say? Shouldn't be like I want to get married, and she's just like I just want Chipotle. And yeah, like, it's like oh, whoa, wait a whoa, minute, I whoa. totally missed that. Yeah, yeah it's like come yeah. on, totally, we've we <laughs> been wrong. rocking for a while long. What the fuck going on here? Wait, yeah. mm-hmm. in private or public? Uh oh, I don't think it matters. Me? It oh, don't it don't matter. When you ready, you ready. Fuck it. It's going down. Okay, hey, that's gangster too. I respect that. That's gangster shit. I respect that. Yeah, I got too much. No, I got too much shame. So it will always and forever be in private. Always, 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 always. always. I'm not doing the whole Facebook. My thing post is, like I said, you. I, I, I'll almost probably pre-plan it. Like, like seriously, like she, she kind of know it's coming. Like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like she should know it's coming. I'm like, in really, a way, that, I just don't want to surprise I, that. Really? She knows it's coming. Like, if okay. you know, if you know you're gonna, I, wife, cause, cause, okay, so I, I don't, I wouldn't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home and ask my wife this question. I'm it's gonna ask question. her, like, yo, all jokes aside. Fuck everything. Did you know it was Damn coming? Damn, knew she should call up. Like, did you know it was coming? Cause that's because, because that is interesting. 
From what she like, said, you, no. Like in the day, that day she said no, she didn't. But maybe. Well, but at the same time, she was also planning her, her whole damn. Yeah, she surprise. was planning the whole surprise. <laughs> right. I had a surprise. She had a surprise. Yeah, it was yeah. just one surprise so filled cool. ass function. You know what I'm saying? But I, I still. Man, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well. Because now, if someone knows that it's coming, do they expect it? Like, are expectations high? Like, because uh. you know, once again, TV and movies, they were like, "Oh, oh, did he pop the question yet?" No, but I know because she look. said, "No, I didn't." Oh, okay. she said, actually didn't know. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, I don't think it ruins the surprises. I think because if, if you know what's win. coming, yeah. Because I mean, I would say my wife was like, she told me afterwards. She told me she was surprised. Like, it didn't. It didn't. Even though she knew it was coming, because like. She even knew to the point where, like, I was taking like secret trips down to Philadelphia because I was, I got my, I got my engagement ring like custom made by a friend of mine that I've known since high school. Like, she mm. does that. Got gotcha. you. Okay. And uh, that's dope. Fly yeah. That's does. Yeah. That's dope. Fly. Yeah. You know ring, she man? make regular rings or just engagement? No, rings? no. Like she's like she she's, <laughs> she's like, still loaded. No, she makes like artisanal type type jewelry. Clark. And I seen Clark. her stuff, and she randomly did an engagement ring one time, and I was like, oh, that's really that's different. Dope as shit. I was like, oh, that's really different. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, I want to do that because I'm like, you know. I've, you know, I'm not trying to diss anybody that got their wife a ring or whatever. I'm not trying to compare whatever. Talk about me. But no. Talk about me. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> see that? He coming at your ring, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck I, was, I, was, I heard it. I heard it. I appreciate that. I seen it. I, I saw, saw it coming. It. I saw it blow. I ain't, I I ain't even seen it, so no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to be different. I figured getting it done by somebody I know would be would make it even that much more special. So. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Yo, nah, good shit, though. Um, good shit what? Cause your ring sucks compared to. I mean, yeah, apparently so. <laughs> I guess so. Shit, next, next. <laughs> Matter of fact, his best friend, well, his friend just, from a long joking. time, was making rings. Why you ain't making no goddamn ring so I could buy something from you? I'm making music. I, I okay. mean, but it don't as, ring as, though. As, as, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Literature. Yeah, literature. as old as you is, you supposed to know everybody. That's a fact. Who can okay. make rings, mm-hmm. jewelry, all Word. that shit? I know people that created mm-hmm. metal and all of that. Word. Come yes. on now. I got you. Hello. What's yeah, next, man? Mediator, moderator, roll call, selective snitching, temporary lover. HP. PB. <laughs> Yo, I don't understand how my name gets. And you laughing at the comments, right, Josh? Oh yeah, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> nah, they going in. Listen, man, they they, they can handle a lot. Real of quick, work. Shimmy said I'm proposing to Janice of Janice Thompson's abuela next week on Will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What's the next I'm, topic, bro? I hope she's back every week. <laughs> yeah, oh no! What's the next topic? Um, Pop until you got some trolls. What's up? Okay, you press the drop. Already? I did not. Is this function necessary for a good relationship? Ah. I love this topic. So talk to me, Dame. Talk to so, me. So, talk, so, to me. So, talk to me. Talk to no, me. No, no, no. But what was the Cardi B tweet? Um, um people. Oh, it originally started from the fact that people were saying that Offset must be extremely toxic mentally, physically, emotionally, and Cardi B defended her man by stating that if anybody is abusive, one, it's me. Right. She said, I'm the one who be cursing him out, be boxing him up, slapping him up and all that. When in actuality, sometimes I just be missing him and I be missing the dick. So. And they're together and they seem happy. And she even stated that the reason why she, quote unquote, divorced him or Mm -hmm. said that she wanted to divorce is because she longed for his attention. She was missing him and he wasn't around as often. It wasn't the fact that he was still cheating or anything like that. She just missed the nigga. And her way of showing her love is being extra and loud and dysfunctional, quote unquote. Mm. So, <clears throat> go ahead, Dane. So, what's the topic line up. again? So, that is the topic. So, what's the topic line? A lot of people uh, feel that when you have dysfunctional relationships, those are the good working relationships, right? Mm-hmm. Some type of dysfunction. That means that, you know, y'all in love because y'all fight all the time. That means that, you know, he really loves you because he's bigger, he's jealous of you, or you jealous of him. That's the good relationship. Mm-hmm. So my question, after hearing the fact that Cardi B be beating the shit out of um, <laughs> Offset, is Offset? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all I hear. In my head, I, I hear her beating the shit out of him. But so if Cardi B is beating the shit out of Offset and they still staying married, uh, adultery aside or whatever, does that mean that they're in a good relationship? Like, is that is this function necessary for a good relationship? <sighs> Uh, I feel like <clears throat> that's the question, ladies. I feel like a little. I think people confuse spice with dysfunction a little mm-hmm. bit, mm-hmm. and mm, I can be wrong. But your woman acting a little, a little. How do I say it? A little touchy. A little. Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Nah, I don't want you going no fucking way. Am I? I don't know if I'm ex- describing it right, but <laughs> people. Like I said, I feel like people confuse spice with dysfunction. 
And I feel like a, if that's how you take it, then yeah, a little dysfunction is nothing wrong with it to me in a relationship. Okay. What do you talk to me, Dan? What you think? Um, <clears throat> I've heard that 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 people who don't have uh, <laughs> yo, that comment is hilarious. I'm sorry. I gotta read it. I'm sorry. I'm Micah sorry. said plot twist. <laughs> Janice is really Willa on a different page. That shit is hilarious, bro. I'm sorry. It's it's funny. Um, no, I I've heard women say that the dysfunction is necessary. I've literally heard that. I've heard uh, some girls say that if they're not fighting and arguing a little bit, then the relationship is boring. And they, fighting and arguing, yeah, okay. or, or whatever that whatever I call it dysfunction, but fighting, arguing, and uh, uh, ooh, almost um, you know, uh, you know, just always up at each other's throats all the time, all the time, all yeah, the time, kind of on some like we fight so that we can have make up sex. So let me ask you this: Are do you feel like arguing? Or having fights throughout your relationship, do you think it makes the relationship healthy? Me, no. You don't think any argument, no argument to make the relationship healthy. Well, I mean, but an argument but, is an argument. But that wasn't the question. But you yeah. asked, Barbie, no, I'm just yeah. asking. No, I'm asking him based off of what he said. I saw. Well, I'm yeah, not no, changing. I mean, it. I don't an argument change is it. argument. We we argue all the time. That's nothing. You to get into an argument is not a problem. That's life. Okay, so Everybody I, 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 I want to interject. My, 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 my. No, no, you go. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I want to interject and say this. Um, we live in a society where um, cancel culture is like reigning supreme. Right. Um, we also live in a society where um, we're so quick to be like, well, I got this and I got that, so I don't need that. Right. And the reason why our parents and grandparents and great grandparents, their relationship worked for so fucking long was because of things like forgiveness, yep. acceptance, mm -hmm. um, you know, compromise. Like, I'm saying things that actually make relationships work. Right. Uh, we live in a day and age where social media made the world this fucking big. That's look, it. we got a, a fucking troll in here that look like a fucking troll talking shit, right? Mm -hmm. The world is this fucking big now. So because of that, we like, oh, I don't have to deal with that because I have a million people that's giving me the attention that I need or exactly. making me feel good. I don't need to deal with this, so I'm out. Mm. And it's like, if, if we're talking about marriage, mm. just like Cardi being offset, um, I feel like, one, I feel like we need to get out of people's business. Yeah. That's true. I agree. Because I don't that. care about. Because I'm like, why the fuck? <laughs> but at, at the same, but that led to a real question. I, I, yeah, no, no, I know. That just at the led same to time, yeah. I, I feel like we need to get out. I, I hate that I'm gonna do this. Uh -oh. I feel like we need to get out of people's business, but it still gives us shit to talk about. And mm -hmm. we're a show yeah. that I talk about shit, so we kind of right. need people's business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But people actually take it for real. And like, oh, Cardi B's a piece of shit because she's taking this man back and all he's doing is cheating on her and ill-treating her. Yeah. So I respect Cardi for coming out and saying, well, actually, if, you, if we're being honest, <laughs> right. I'm, the, right I'm now, the aggressor. It was me. I, I'm the she aggressor. She definitely say that. At the same, but I said all that to say this. I feel like we're so quick, and I'm learning in this aspect too. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we're so quick to say, fuck that. I don't need to do that. I can do this by myself. I don't need to, ah, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Right. And sometimes what you need to do is okay, cool. Let's let's work through this. Mm. How can we become better from this, and how can we make our relationship work? Yeah, I feel like nobody's trying to make anything work nowadays. They're just like fuck it, dub it, right? Be done with it, and I just find somebody else who treats me better. Like, yeah, there's no there's no level of there's no wiggle room with people nowadays. It's once you fuck up the one time, it's a wrap. It's it's over. There's no possibility of fucking up and then redeeming us no redemption in people anymore i feel like yeah and i feel like a lot of times with like willa said in old relationships people gave each other room for redemption and wiggle room to grow and understand that i'm gonna fuck up there's no way i'm gonna be with you 20 30 40 years Nobody and perfect. not fuck yeah. up i'm be gonna for, fuck up you know what it is but i blame instagram i blame social media for that because what happens is if you look at someone's instagram feed it literally is their best moments all mm. captured all the time so if somebody had 300 posts and it's their best self all the time, we start to get jaded. We mm. think, that, okay, well, that, that's your best it's self always, all the time. It's always It's always great. the best. It's, it's always, always the greatest. It's always, always the great. Forever. So now we start to aspire for these fucking pictures. We start to lust over these pictures that we see. We don't know them when they go into the corner store with the fucking bonnet on mm. and they looking reckless. We don't know we don't how know shorty that. or homie is in the morning when on they wake day, up. You're on an off saying? day when shit going wrong. I mean, they stub their toe in the morning. They boss yelled at them because they came late. Their kids spilled something on them. Right. Like, we don't, we we don't see that. We woke up. On a work, woke up some mornings and be like, "Yo, today's just not one of them days," and you just aggravated. Bro, that was no me. The other, that was me the other day. Yeah. I had yo, bro, from the morning time. I had a day, and I was like, "You know what? This is just not my day." But it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Mm. This today is not my day. You know what I'm saying? One of them days where you just are. It's not even like you're purposely trying to argue with people, but you just find yourself getting into little tiffs for no fucking reason. Mm. But what happens is, 
our older generations was able I don't I don't know why. I'm going to say social media because social media made the world this small, but for some reason they are, they were more adept. Is that the word adept? I said it right? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Cool. They're more adept to sticking through issues and working through problems and sticking it out and being together in the long run. Like our ancestors, our ancestors, but our, our older generation did together 40 years, 50 years. But now I, our average marriage is like two years. But also, uh, time moves slower. And, and what I mean by that is they didn't have so much to do. Like, we yeah. we have to deal, we have to deal with more. Yeah, we're dealing that with a lot true, more true. than that, like being thrown at us at mm -hmm. all times. Versus, you know, if you if you you're you're just a father that works in a factory, you work in your factory, you come your ass home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or, or vice versa. Let's just say let's give the stereotype: you're a housewife, you just deal with the family and the kids, you cook whatever, and then he comes home. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's like it's a but. Now, like you say, I do agree with the social media shit. Cause it it over sensualized you, you, us. Yeah. There's so many sensations We're that so we close. feel it's on, just on so social much media, all the right? time. And yo, and what's funny is the fucked up part about social social media actually makes you feel like it's that easy to find someone else like yes. tomorrow. Oh yes. my god, ain't that shit crazy? That's yes. like, oh like you can legitimately like be dating somebody and you actually legitimately, feel right now. Legitimately, I got three I got, girlfriends off of Instagram right but that's, now. But that's I don't I'm need saying. nobody. I, right, I'm because saying. because I got ten thousand followers, so. You know I could find I got 100,000 followers, so you know what what somebody want me. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, even, social, that's, that's social media. Sheesh. I didn't even think Shimmy about that. Shimmy says, technology allows us lonely people to not be lonely. It is easier to leave relationships. Mm. No, it definitely is easier to, excuse me, to leave. But that's why we have cancel culture. That's why yeah. it's so quick. We yeah, can just easier, be done with somebody. It's easier to leave relationships, but it's hard to find that person that's going to deal with your bullshit. Exactly. And that's the thing I think people <laughs> underrate. I really you know do. And that's why everybody's single. Shit. Shit. Be real. Everybody ain't day. single. Speak for yourself. No, but I, okay. But well, I think that's the, the the main issue. You know, I noticed that we 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 talk in this group all the time about relationships, y'all. Y'all know that we the relationship gurus. God damn it! One thing that uh that I see all the time in the group is all of the women always kind of have come to this consensus. Well, that's why I'm always be single, or or that's why I'm single this, or that's why I'm mm -hmm, single that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it might could based off what we just based off of this conversation, maybe you. I don't know. I, no, well, you know what? Let me not get no advice right now. Cause I don't, Let me, I don't want nobody to come in. How here. you have a whole spiel and then don't. I was, right nah, there, I was right? with you because I see, I feel like, like I knew you where you stopped. were going. I was going there, but I'm also like, nah. Because it's going to be like, ah, that ain't my situation. You, you don't know my baby well daddy. Like, Listen, like, you already at the free throw line. <laughs> Shoot. Josh, talk to me. Uh, there's, there's, only, there's like two points I wanted to make. Like, <laughs> I right the, one, there. the one thing I think people often confuse is arguments don't always equal dysfunction like arguments agreed arguments are a healthy thing Bing. arguments are a healthy thing if you don't have arguments in your relationship there's some there is something wrong yes <laughs> no, i feel like it trust that's me yeah it's about trust me. it's about how you argue though and how you communicate with each other i mean like i don't really even want to talk about cardi being off sex as i don't really know those people right. but like the thing the thing that, that i see with especially with like younger celebrities i feel like they don't really know themselves yet Right. And a lot okay. of times and not even not knowing themselves, but they don't they don't know. It takes time to learn how to effectively communicate with somebody, right. well, especially with a That's partner, a fact. especially with a partner. Even when you get married, even after you get married to somebody, you're still it's an always evolving process on how am I going to be able to communicate with this person? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that changes, you know, what's it called? That changes daily. Daily. It can change <laughs> daily. <laughs> you know, <laughs> daily. You know, it, yeah. it, it's something that it's something that you have to work on all the time. So. I think people are being a little bit too critical. I mean, yes, from the outside in, from, from the outside looking in, it looks like dysfunction. But at the end of the day, if those two people still want to be with each other, there's nothing to judge at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not here to judge that. Mm -hmm. the, to me, it just looks like two people who don't know how to effectively communicate, communicate with but each they're other, working through but it. they're working through it, right. and it might not be pretty, and Yo, it might not look good. And granted, like how they communicate might be dysfunctional, but, to but, you but it might yeah, to us. Mm -hmm. But it might not mean that they have a dysfunctional relationship. Because at the end of the day, if they're still coming back to each other, God then it's still damn working. It. Talk that shit, God. Come, yo, you see why? I'm the most stupid. I'm about to throw Listen. these lipsticks at you. You should be coming with the fucking yo, I'm a, sauce. Cause I'm going to be like, real with you because the crazy part is everybody took it like, yo, Cardi being offset going through it, this, that, and the third. But to me, I feel like offset 100% knew and understood exactly what it was and what was going on. Because then right after that, hmm. he was posting video, Instagram Insta videos of Cardi B dancing for her birthday. He took her out. They were doing this, doing that, partying, having a good time, winding up on each other, kissing up on each other. What I will and say everything is, is sweet now. You what, know what I'm saying? But what, what I will say is this, and this is why, honestly, women, please hear me out. 
Um, I say this is a women thing, a woman thing to do because I see women do it. I say eight out of the ten times. Social media is not here for your problems. Mm. The people mm. on your social media don't give a fuck about your issues. They just want to be in your business. Of course. So when they going through whatever, they say, "Oh fuck it, I'm single and I don't need no." Everybody's there like a word. Hmm. Okay. What? What? They're not there to actually give advice. So what? To me, what Cardi B did was, I I want a divorce. Right. And did it publicly. Right. So now when she actually sat down and talked to her man and realized that they have a family and a kid and and what she really was mad at wasn't like, the fact fin- that let it, me finish I don't yeah. give I, but all like when she actually sat down they discussed what was happening she's now like well fuck you know what you are my husband and I do love you and I do want this family to thrive and I do want to try and make it work right. but you put out what you put out publicly mm-hmm. right so now it's for us to so now it's for yeah. us to talk about if you just keep mm-hmm. your shit inside your fuck yo growing up my mom always said whatever happened in this house stay in this house that's it I grew up like that mm-hmm. I don't talk business in the streets. I hate when people post their problems on social media because right. guess what? We not here to console you. Niggas just want to get in your business. Yeah. That's That's and, and, and then when and then when you post oh on Valentine's Day, oh I love him, he makes my people, heart people everybody look at you, at you like, you like crazy. fuck out of here. Yeah, just, yeah. just two months ago you was like fuck that nigga. Me, me, me. Like g- people don't need to be in your business. Mm. Long story short. So can we all just get people out of our fucking business? Stop putting shit on social media. Jesus. Huh. Now I get it. Not like an old guy talking about this. Yeah. Yes, yes, but yes, it's yes. a fact, though. It's like, yo, get your can shit I, off of social media. Can I say one thing to the question, though? Yeah. The only time where I think a relationship, in my opinion, because like, it begs to ask the question, like, what is dysfunctional? What does dysfunction mean? That's what I'm saying. You know, and just this is a personal, this is a personal answer to it. Dysfunction to me is a relationship is only dysfunctional if both parties are not bettering themselves from being together in the union. Okay, right? I like that. You know, mm-hmm. if you find yourself where you are not benefiting or your partner is not benefiting from the both of you being together, if you're not both growing from being together, then I would say, yeah, fuck it, it's over. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, you are in something dysfunctional and you need to get the fuck out of it because right. if it's not benefiting you, you need to get out of it. But if you, what's it called? But if it's just the fact that you guys haven't figured out how to coexist together, but you want to still coexist together because you see this person as someone that makes you better. That's not dysfunctional. The, that's not dysfunctional. Yeah. That's you having not figured out how to coexist together. Yet. Yet. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I agree with that. Fair enough. I agree with that. All right. Shout out to that. Shimmy said, can y'all imagine Ike and Tina on social media? Real shit, though. <laughs> no, that, that, that would be no, mad entertaining, though. But... No, it would be. <laughs> I have no butt for that. I, could, I would yo, love to see that, bruh, actually. Bruh, could you imagine, like, the real cake conversation? They had, like, wild IG. Like, they, had, they had Instagram <laughs> back then. Lord. And Ike and Tina was just like... <laughs> like, fuck nah. you, Ike. Crazy. Fuck you, Tina. No, nah, that's funny. <laughs> you know I love you, girl. Yeah. You know I love you. That's funny. Are we, right. we done with this one? Yeah, man, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Did we that's answer the good. question? We answer, I love that. When I read it, I was like, okay, yeah, look, yeah, look no, at that I real like ass topic right there. Today I had nothing to do with the topic, so I'm glad that these topics is fire. Like nah, these was dope. I, these yeah. came out. We yeah. have some weeks. We like that's what nigga. Yeah. We like that's. I think it was last week. I was like, yeah, that's all we got. Hey man, play the damn song. Um, should men have financial standards when it comes on to dating women, and what should those standards be? One more time. Should men have financial standards when it comes on to dating women? And what should those standards be? I got this topic listening to another podcast where it was two. Well, I'm explaining the scenario where I was. I I have to because it gives it context. Willa, I'm, I'm go ahead. Shit, <laughs> do your thing, brother. And Amen. the gentleman, the the gentleman asked the two young ladies, "What's your minimum in terms of a guy when dating him? How much money must he make as a minimum?" And both of the young ladies said he has to make at least two hundred k. Right, both of these women are well off themselves, so they said the minimum for them is two hundred k. So then they posed the question to the gentleman. They said, "Sir, okay, what would you require a woman to have as a minimum financially?" And the first thing he said is, "I would just need her to have some goals and some ambition." What? That's legitimately what he said. That's like my soul. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> my soul. Damn so then, so then, it, then it begged the question: Then what is it that men have in terms of standards for women financially? Or do we men even have standards for women financially? 
Do we require them to have certain things financially in order for us to date them? Really seriously? quick, sorry to sorry to um what? to cut you off. Um, my boy Captain Jack just checked into the fucking building. Happy birthday, happy bro. birthday, my bro, Captain happy, Jack. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, my nigga. Happy birthday, Rob. Love I mean, you dearly, brother. Wednesday we'll family to you. Yeah, yeah. Facts, 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 facts. Happy facts. birthday, happy Earth Strong. You know what I'm mean, saying another year older, another year wiser, another year blacker. Another year uglier. Kurt said, That's no a fact. Brook pocket gal. Period. <laughs> no brook pocket gal. Yeah, period. I'm terrible. No brook pocket gal. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so financial standards. Go ahead, talk to me. What's the dollar amount? If you ain't got <sighs> blah blah blah, then you can't be with Damo. Go. I don't know. Uh, give me a second. If you ain't <laughs> got blah blah blah, um, you can't be with that boy Bari. Go. Damn a number. Shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you make the number. same amount as me. I so me or better. Me, yeah, wow. but that's kind of tough. Okay, just make the same amount as me. Damn but cool. honestly, I'm gonna what be real with you. Wait, wait if, if she ain't got blah blah blah, she. I'm can't talking about be where I'm you. at now. Go. Where I'm at now. I'm not talking about frat. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me, Wade. What if you if you do have a number? What is the number? She just has to have a job. Okay. Any job, okay. respectable job, respectable. It's not Stripping, some shit like that. But was stripping, strippers was respectable, <laughs> not for a long term success. Like that's not a long term job. But what if you were a stripper? And what with if you the body hopes, is in the game? With the hopes of owning your own strip club, but you got to work there for the LLC. Or money. you, 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 you want to own your lip, own lip gloss line? Well, you have to be moving towards that goal. If you're not moving towards that but goal, but goals then, and ambitions, she's moving every night. If you're not moving towards that goal of owning your own stuff, <laughs> so is that B come on, bro? She's moving. She's moving. I wouldn't do a stripper, so. You I wouldn't date stripper? No. Honestly, I, I wouldn't date with a stripper again. <laughs> Shit. So how did that? Give okay. Me, give yourself a ding. Can we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we go there? I, how was it dating you know, a stripper? Well, let's stay on topic. Oh, no, let's stay on topic. 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 We ain't got open. Okay, but um, shit, what was the topic again? I won't do Financial. So bad. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, the number in your head. Me? Pastor Josh. Go. I don't, I don't have a number. I, say, it's okay. well, I, I don't have a I'll, number. I'll just say this, and I probably... <laughs> Mad late. <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong if I've said this before, but, like, I've just, like, intuitively just always felt like, you know, you find a woman that can take care of herself, and then you take care of her. Like, that's that's. I all. remember you saying I like that, that before. That's, no, all I like I, that. that's all I look for. That's I like all that. I look fucking for. fucking hug you. No, no, no. I like <laughs> No, he's, I've heard him like say that, that before. No, no, so no, I really like that. It doesn't hit the same way. Ha, ha. No, 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 but I do like that. Like, I think... I do think women should be able to take care of themselves. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not. And so not to the point where you have to depend on me to take care of you. Like that's trash. I'm sorry. That's a trash concept to me. And I really, really hate that. Like, like what you? It's like. It's like. Sorry, I'm getting my bag a little bit. I feel uh -oh. like. I feel uh -oh. like women be looking. James for, bag. Nah, I just feel like women be looking for fathers. You know, you 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 legit. You you want somebody. You want to jump up in his arms all day and have him hold you on the couch and caress you all day. Cool pay you for all your bills. Pay for all your shit. Buy everything for you. Buy your car because you feel like it. Give you some money for whatever because you just feel like that's a that's a dad. That's wow. that was you when you was nine. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You grown now. Like what the no, fuck? No, that's, I'm, no, who who angered you? No, it just hit me. I'm Listen, like the fuck. Like what do they call you daddy. No, no, but uh, but yeah. Hey, even the fact that you call me daddy. Call me daddy. But, but, like, but you, like, but you daddy. like it when they call you daddy. Though. I don't. Mm. No, I don't. I don't. I'm I'm dead serious. I don't. Oh shit, y'all. I don't. <laughs> to each his own. Call me daddy. Because I love it. Don't call me daddy. What you said, baby? Say. Louder. I don't like dad, that because oh, I'm not your yeah. dad. Because I just had a, <laughs> my dad. I just had a conversation last week about girls are trying to try me with their kids. I don't not need you to be the the kid. Hmm. <laughs> like you, you can't be no grown ass I feel kid. Like, bro. I, I feel like it's so. I feel like it's hard for a man to really answer this question with a number. Yeah, because I, I don't have a number, but I because mean, I promise you, in terms of when it up, when it comes on to money. That's the problem. Like you, you, ever so, think, you ever think that's a problem? Like a woman has a number in their head of like, oh, I want a man that has this amount of money. Right. Like, and, that, and that's the mindset they go in. Like, I don't think about like, oh, how, she, how much money? She, I never even ask a girl how much money she makes. As long as you can take care of yourself. But, right. I'm cool but on the flip side, a woman Wade, will damn near no, ask. No, Wade, keep going, bro. Talk to you, though. Keep, keep going. going. <laughs> keep going because that was perfect. Turn it, it, yeah, it's really, I couldn't have said that. No What'd you better. say, wait, one more time? I don't know what I said. God damn it. Well, when he said, he said that women. He's never asked a young lady how much she makes. Never asked a woman. It's not something that we it's normally would do. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Where, but on that same, when I was listening to it, both of these young ladies said he has to make a minimum of 200k because that will <laughs> make him comfortable. That's okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. If she makes 200k, no, she. The, both of these women are well off themselves. Like they Devil's work and they make 200k themselves. So they're saying I need him to at least make. 
two hundred k to be comfortable. Dev, devil's advocate. Yeah, I get, I you, get one too. You actually. might not. Okay, let's be honest. We might not as men, right? There's one, two, three, four, five of us. Right. I should know that number by now. But right. there's five of us here, yeah, right? You counted real slow. I too. did. I did. I did. I, I blame Dame with his cheap ass champagne that he bought. I will <laughs> <laughs> keep blaming Dame. This shit called whatever it's called. But um, we may not have a number, but we do have like a a, a standard. You think so? That's different. But no, 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 no. I think so. I know so. You're not gonna go out with a fucking bum. Mm -hmm. So, this, so we have a standard. So, no, that? so that's, you cannot go out with a bum. But does that mean she can be a young lady that doesn't make any real money? We're talking about the financial part. Where stay? You like to say stay on topic. The financial part. That was on topic. How you're a bum, Barry? A bum? No one. Someone with no money. Mm -hmm. You're not Bari, I've known you for quite some time now. Right. I've never seen you date a woman with no money. No, right. So what I'm saying is we do have a standard. We might not say a dollar amount. Let's be honest now. That's why I say devil's advocate. Right. Let, let's keep it a bean here. If Shorty had nothings, nadas, Nathans, nothings, <laughs> she can't do can, no. Can you no? Yeah, what about no? Nope, I don't even like that. Nobody here is dating that person. Yeah. So we do have a dollar amount Can somewhat. Can she have? No, I'm about to say what? <laughs> what? I'm about to say it. Say it, say it. I was like, can she fuck though? But is that is that sex is a back to what we said last week? I laugh like that because it's a currency. It's a currency. It's definitely a commodity. It's a currency. If I have money, but let's talk about it. Because no, you should not. I have never seen you date a woman who didn't have nothing. But what I'm saying is, sex can sex. There is no way sex is currency. What sex is currency? How sex? It's why, bro? Boy, if it's you, money. If, if you, you had money it's and a girl a billion dollar she wants you to, no, no, no. no but it, it's like it's like if you take that currency, so, take that? okay. In terms it's of, kind of like, no, no, it's a difference. Well, last week I found wait, wait, out wait, that you had OnlyFans, right? Right? No, no. I'm, I'm not saying this to be a joke, right? So you with the OnlyFans, you're paying a subscription to see someone do sexual acts, right? Right? Sex currency. But we're talking about dating and being with this young lady. I'm not talking about just getting some pussy. If we're talking about getting some pussy, there's always a transaction as a man that you have to give up in order to get some if pussy. If Shorty threw the fire's pussy on you in your life, nigga, you to gonna fuck, stay with her. To fuck, absolutely, but to date her, that's, dip, that's a difference, bro. Bar, you once, that is a you once said, and I, when I, when I mean I'm once, dating. two weeks ago, you said, what? <laughs> said, you said that you had a one-night stand that turned into a long relationship. But so that does not uh, no, mean no, no. that the pussy was the reason for me dating her forever for the, the period of time that I was with her. There is a one, difference. One, Just because I nice, got the pussy one. does not mean that's the reason why I stayed with her. So she had more to offer. Exactly. But Just because I fucked her the first night doesn't mean that, oh, because of pussy fire, I'm going to stay with you. No, she had more to offer. You know what I'm saying? Niggas need to learn to remove the pussy from the equation completely. Sex is currency. I don't care about what you're talking about. Sex is currency. But I don't care what you're talking about. I said it earlier. That's that's bad. Like, I'm not disagreeing, but I'm like, that's crazy. That's, that's like, crazy it, to me. It, it is, but like. That's, stu that's stupid. But, but I'm not disagreeing, but it's just like, that's that's. It retarded. is to a certain extent, but like, here's the thing. I think it depends on the man. Because there's the. That's the, what I'm saying. If you take that currency. Because here's the thing. Sex, sex is a currency to a certain extent because it's something that does make a part of a healthy relationship. Let's not, let's let's not like you know, let's, let's not front about it. Yeah, let's not front about. There's no long lasting relationship that's happening right now with no sex. But let's not front or about. Bad, terrible. But, here, but, sex. but here's the but no, probably is. But here's nah. the but here's the other kind of dude. Yeah, here's the other kind of dude who I really just kind of look at you sideways. But there's a yeah. lot of dudes out there where where, 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 where sex where sex can be the only currency, and that's fine with them because they're not looking for someone as a partner. They're looking for someone to control. Agreed. Right, and, and that's and that's what the currency is between them. Or right? someone to enjoy. Yeah, it becomes in it's just, it becomes transactional at right. that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. No, I agree I, with that. I agree with that. Um, I agree with that. And and I and I definitely know guys like that. You can pay them in sex. Well, of course. Like period. You know? But what I'm saying is, is that to me, I'm not saying I I agree, but it's just like that's stupid, because then it prove it, it all it does is paint it proves the narrative of as a man there is no what real financial. Saying? Yeah. There's no real financial that. minimum that we need as a man you can't in order come up with, for with, with money. It's like if she could just pay him pussy, it's like it's well, like shit. this. So there's no real financial <laughs> well, need that she uh, needs to have in order for us to really deal with that's the young bullshit. lady. You cannot you cannot swing that that extreme. How, bro? There's women. Okay. There are women well, out here like who this. legitimately do not I'll have a financial. It. Men do not have a financial standard for them I'll, because I'll say it like this. Because I don't think we're the type we of guys. We don't set it. I'll, I'll Just say, because Shorty is fire, her ass is fat, her titties are big, she sucks dick crazy, mm -hmm. she does not have to have any bread for me to want to be with her. 
What's her name? As a man. What is her name? That's that's real what shit, is her bro. Name? That's that's regular for a man. But the moment the shorty meet me, first off the bat, if I'm not paying for the bill, she's not fucking with me. Mm. You gotta have some bread. Or if you if, gotta, if, you gotta buy a Birkin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that just, period. But that just proves the point. Yo, I could meet a shorty and I could want to fuck with her because she's fire. She right. can only fuck with me because I paid the bill for her. Mm. I was willing to, to sh- yo. I but need to be honest with you, but I men, don't think, I don't think men are conditioned that way. I'm just saying. Look, we you, are conditioned. We are. Way. You go That's to the fact. club, ladies free till three a.m. Men, eighty five dollars at the door. Facts. The and we, door. And we, and we talked about that. The door. We talked about that last you week. Then you then got to have some money. You then just get in. in case you want to buy a drink but for you, some chicks. You, you then get in. <laughs> Shit. You then I'm get in. Me. Yeah. You then get in, and well, it's twenty dollars a drink. Well, you only get about one drink if you go by my method. But anyway, listen. We only bring. You ain't got like to buy you. none if you fuck with me. Yeah. You can run it out. <laughs> but what I'm going to say is, it is it, we are conditioned. Yeah. We are heavily conditioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like heavily. Yeah. Because if you don't got that entrance and you don't got that so drink. So once again. Or if you don't got a, a section and some bottles flowing to that section, bottle wars are a thing. So lame. So but should I agree, men honestly, have financial I, I, standards? Okay, wait, can, can we be honest? Bottle wars Isn't are really only good. lame if you're not involved. I've been involved in a bottle war. I'm no, 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 sorry, fuck though. you. I'm no, not going to lie. No, corny, I, no that shit was not corny that I'm gonna night be real when I was there. It's, it's corny because I nope. feel like... You want me to tell you why I feel like it's corny? Because at the end of the day, the reason why you're doing it is not for another man. The reason why you do it is for a woman. I'm... I'm not watching the bottles that another nigga's buying. I'm buying bottles to see what girl is watching the bottles that I'm buying so that I can tell the so cool. I'm going to tell my bottle war story because fuck y'all. Y'all don't go random my parade. All we right. in Miami. Uh-oh. Oh, I remember. We, <laughs> we in the yams. Okay. <laughs> we in the yams. We was in KOD before they closed down. You know the story. KOD used to have a, 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 a little special. It was $50 <laughs> bottles. That's a fact. Our cheap ass. I swear, swear to God, <laughs> we went there just because it was fifty dollar bottles. Makes sense. But because we was in there, everybody I'm not gonna lie, was for in. Fifty dollars, I'd have been on exactly. that for fifty. Yo, we, it was we was fifteen deep. Everybody bought a but bottle quick, just cause. But real quick, real <laughs> but quick. But what, but they pre warned us to not go. Make sure to get cash before because you yeah, know the ATM yeah, in there yeah. is ten dollars to withdraw oh, your money. Like listen, clubs, yeah. listen, oh, listen. We in there. We know it's fifty dollar bottle night. We don't give a fuck. We we stunt in the night. Right. We all got fifty. What's up? Got 50. And we look hey. bad. No, we didn't. <laughs> fuck you talking about? No, we did. What fuck the fuck you. is you talking about? <laughs> we look bad. Guess 50. what though? There was a section. Or there was adjacent. Good word. College word. Ding me for that. Ding. There was a there was a right, section. I'm about to move this. Out of the way. I, I know the numbers. I know the. <laughs> you buttons. lucky I can't reach it because I you know me. There was a there was a section that was adjacent to us, but they they didn't have as many people as we did. Uh-huh. So they was buying their fifty dollar bottles, and then we was buying ours. Right. So then they kept buying them. We was buying. Right. And then we after had, a while, we had they... more people. So we was like, fuck it, drop the bag on them, and we was like, hold that, and. and and then like, after a while, they was like, word, watch this. Doom, 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 doom. And it was OD. And it was like, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, bad after that. All right. Uh, I mean, I, bottle Wars are I'm fun. not going to lie. Fuck you. I understand the, the fun of the game. It was so fun. I don't. But, I, but at, the, at the same but time. At the same time I, I never did it for women and Bro, that and, shit is stupid. No, it was fun. It's no, and, it was and fun. okay, the what I will say, I'll give I Jason, I will give Jay, I will back Jason okay, up on this. In that fun. moment, we weren't doing it in terms of trying to impress. We were legit having this. It was just having fun. It was like, fun. fun. I can, but I can so see that. I, I was like, oh, another butter. <laughs> like, we was legit, we <laughs> was legit <laughs> being <laughs> dicks in the club, just, uh, Mind bottle, you, we didn't uh, even bottle. drink it. Right, right. But we were just buying because it. Because it yeah. was $50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody had 50 and yeah. there's 15 of us. And if you want to be real, if you want to be box. real, the stri- strippers, it wasn't like they was on our body, yeah, but it was just. The streamers and all of that. Yes, yes every bottles. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, oh, and, what made it, and what made it dope, <laughs> the strippers was, was like, so fuck with us because we from New York. It wasn't like, oh, they were trying to fuck us or take our money. It was legit like, oh, no, it was cool. So they was in our section like, oh, bottle, oh, So he was having fun with it. Shout out to KOD, man. Why they close? Oh, KOD down, All man. I hear is that's the best business idea for a bar. I've ever it was. It was amazing. Because I'm amazing. sitting there, I'm just like, you know, you, you have $100, $200 bottles or whatever. Like, why not just make up 50 all the time? And yeah. Make more bread, but make but more they're bread. normally 50. Yeah. If you go to. Yeah. No, if a, you, if, no, they're not. Not here. Not here. Bottle, no, no, they're not. Them bottles be like 150, 200. No, 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 no. no. What, what I'm saying No, he's yeah. talking about recent, the re, um, if, if retail. If you go price. to a liquor store. Retail. Price. He's talking about the oh, retail. They're, they're $50. Yeah. yeah. So for them to sell it at 50, they still not losing it. What bottles are what, though? Bro, it was Ciroc. It was Patron. It was Henny. They was bringing us. But even that. 
Ciroc, the big bottle is what, 47? Exactly. Yeah. So 47. So, yeah, I'm with you. You can sell the shit for $60. Because, $60 because in the club on a normal you win. night. You win. You get an extra 15 in a, on in each bottle. Normal night, tripping. But in a normal night, it's 450. Right. For, I, I fucking hate that. For, like, that's that's stupid. Yo, clubs be head cracking. Bottles, Go for it. For this Shout size. Out to that. It'd be that for yeah. $300. Yeah. So then back to the like, question, bitch, fellas. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you're not drinking? No, 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 no. Got him. No, 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 I hit it. I hit it. Where the fuck did it come I didn't so, even know he had it so, with so, so, so for all the new people, including <laughs> the trolls, um, we don't say the B word on this show. So facts, if you facts, do, facts, 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 facts. You got to take a shot. Woo! Jesus! And I'll I'm pour it. I'm not drinking that and shit. I'll nah, pour nah, it. Nah, 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 so nah, you got to nah, take nah, a nah. shot. It's eating through the paper. <laughs> <laughs> take that, take that, so take that. Let's get it now. You got to take so that, bro. Cool. It's, it's been a next topic. Yeah, take that, take that, take that. So, but real, to end the segment, fellas, real quick. Do we have standards in terms financially for women? I say yes. I do. Y'all, y'all you, I do. I y'all just don't cabin. have a number. Do you? Do you My think is, we have it? I have not seen any of y'all date a broke, down and out, can't do nothing for herself. But woman. is there so a financial? But, that, but that's do the we reason. have a number. Literally, have a job. I, I agree with Wade. Have a job. Have a plan, and be working towards something. All right, fine. And then don't have yeah, a little bullshit me, ass ahead, job. Josh. Like, so everything you. Dame said. But if you want to put a number to it, let's just say thirty thousand. Okay. A year. That's it. At least minimum. That's it. But I'm just saying but, minimum. But that's why I said we do have a number. We do have a. Hey, I in know York, some. We, in New York, we have a number. I know some women who 30, making. Yeah. I know some women who making thirty thousand now. You tell them, hey, what's your number? They gonna tell you double, triple that in terms of minimum to date. Oh yeah, that's sorry. I, when, when when I first met the the beautiful woman that I'm with now, I literally watched her. I'm like, yo, she's getting to the bag. Oh, <laughs> she got an infinity. Uh, oh, right. She she. Oh, she doing that. Oh, she can yeah, yeah, all yeah, that by herself. Oh, yeah, oh, I take that. Sh- it's Ooh, very sexy that no, woman I need, is I, I need that. Right. That's take something that. that's fire. So there was a dollar amount there. Mm-hmm. That's okay. what I'm saying. We, we got to be honest here. Actually, can Let's I say, keep with a buck. Can I say one last thing before go we go? Go ahead and take that too. No, no, yeah, take that shot. Take that shot. Take that. Take that. Take that. No face, no case. Take that. Take that. Oh, gosh, father. A geese fight. I, I, see, I see what's happening yeah. behind him. Oh, oh, God. He was like, oh. it's whole, he was holding it in. Like. Fada. Oh, God. You all right, bro? He crying. It's, y'all don't see the tears. Can you zoom in? Because his, his tears for real. Because he's about to cry. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I need water. I just know the temperature went. Water. I just know he got hot real quick. Look, like, he's about to cry. So really quickly, fellas, have go, some standards. Go get some triple distilled. Right. <laughs> hey, fellas, real quick. I need you guys to have some standards, some financial standards for the ladies. The ladies will hold you accountable money-wise. Mm. So we need to start holding these ladies accountable money-wise. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm not saying to throw a crazy number out there because, to be real, as men, I don't think any of us will throw a crazy number out there. Thirty, forty thousand 40000 that's nothing crazy. You got a job. You're working. You're doing something. Late, you know what I'm saying? Have something. Mm. Bring something forward to the table. Mm. You know what I was going to say, though? Talk One thing me. I didn't mention, though, and this is just obvious, and I don't know why I didn't mention it. Talk to me. Men have historically made more money and because they've been, True. because they've had more power. Yes. Or, right. Historically. But now, so, apparently, so, women are making more money than yeah, men Yeah, I mean, now. don't get me wrong. It's, don't get me yes. wrong. It's flip, it's Statistically. Flip, I don't think it's quite there yet, but it's pretty damn close, I yeah. would like to say. I told you. The water is, hold on, tell, tell them about that water. What that, is this? That's the best water I have ever, second best water I've ever tasted. No, why does it taste so good? I, th- I tell y'all this every week and y'all look at me like I'm stupid. I tell y'all this water is I don't is drink fire. no bullshit water, man. I tell you. I be trying to tell people, hey, no, real what quick. Did you, what did you do to it? <laughs> real quick, everybody, Broken Podcast Studio has the best water in New York City. No, I'll jack that. I told Pause. you. Triple distill. Triple? Yeah. So you distill it, distill it. <laughs> he said like vodka. It is like vodka. You triple distill. No, no, that water different. It ain't better than Chicago water, but that water, that water. Yeah, that, right. Oh my God! Here you go. But are you, I'll give you a mediator, flower. moderator, road call, selective station, temporary lover, always toxic, half a pill. Damn, I fucked it up. Half a gas station pill, HPB Bari. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um, What's the next topic? You heard? <clears throat> Why is monogamy a requirement for men? Wow. When sex is only a choice for women. Do we have the clip? To, or, or I have no? it on my phone. Do y'all want me to uh, play? It's, it's in a right? group chat too. It's 53 know. seconds. Okay, perfect. Phone. No, no, play it. Y'all want to play it for my phone or you have it on your f- You should I, have it in a group chat. I, bro, I, oh, I right, never mind. My fault. 
I'm going to play the clip. Yeah. You're yeah. play it from your yeah. phone? No, no. We're going to do it the right way. Yeah, we are going to yeah. do it the right way. Do you yeah, have the are. piece? Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to pass my phone over. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we're going to do it the right way. We, we ain't going to oh, forge this. It's a long yeah. cord. All right. Okay. Pass this. Cord. Anyway, the... cool. Here you go, brethren. Cool. Pause. All right, so this H, is a H, H, it's not HTB, it's HPB. Half a pill Bari, because Bari said he took a gas station pill. Half. 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 Oh, sorry, a half of a gas station pill, so it's half H pill P Bari B. HPB, Bari. All right, half a pill Bari. All right, let me turn my thing off so no text messages pop up. Oh. Nobody texting you, my nigga. All right, Your phone uh, dry, HPB. I, I hope it stay dry. Mm-hmm. All right, so you got it. What what, what was the question? Right, well, while he's doing that, can people hit the like and share button? Can Facts. They, I was just about to say that because I was. Yo, well, that's, that Josh, God damn it! Press the goddamn. You heard Y'all what Josh said. Um. So yeah, this is a clip about this the the question that we just posed. Yo, Blade is hilarious. Yes, he is. <laughs> very funny. Bad funny. I'm about to play right now. Hold on. I am not allowed, <laughs> based on our marriage laws and uh-huh. the, the contract we signed with each other, right. turned up. to have sex with anybody else. Right. So these urges that come, mm-hmm. I have to share them with the one person I decide to spend the rest of my life with. Okay. So that, that brings me back to my, my, my soundbite. Okay. Right? I don't understand, and this is what we can discuss, mm-hmm. as a woman, because I don't, I don't want to say it's a man versus woman thing, but a lot of women do complain, oh, my husband's always on me. Why is he always on me? Mm-hmm. If sex is going to be a chore for you that you don't really want to do, why do women constantly push monogamy on men if you know that you don't want to have to deal with him all the time just wanting you Mm -hmm. why do you push monogamy on that well who's to say i pushed anything on anybody okay like her answer was like yeah her answer blew shit out of me but yeah Mm. oh shit wait a minute is it chore or choice i said choice but is she he said chore Mm, that's crazy Mm -hmm. I'm never Did again you? taking a shot of that. I yeah. swear to God. Stop saying the B word. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't you. Never again am I taking a shot of that. Yeah. Like, all my kids' life, I swear to God, I'm never <laughs> again taking a shot of that. You know what a nigga mad for Bro, real? Like, He's I'm, tight right I'm now. I'm not. E- Josh. You, you took you, a shot of gasoline. You hear me? <laughs> I'm never again taking a shot of that. Ever. Yo, Ever. I'm crying. Why do you drink that? Bro, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. What are you doing to yourself? Like, when he mixes that with the OG pink drip every week, I'm like, no, why are you, dis- like, why are you disrespecting it like I'm this? Pissed. You <laughs> drink that? <laughs> nah, cuz you're wildin'. Uh, you come on, drink. son. No, he, Yo, he goes to the store and says, let me get that. He, if he drank it straight, I would think he had a problem. <laughs> nah, seriously. No, he did drink that shit straight. I, I don't drink it straight. Yeah, really. so he's good. Like, no, he he's not good. Son, his, he's mental good. No, no, his, his mental health is okay. He's half good. No, his mental health is okay because he drinks yeah, it. Yeah, bro, never again. <laughs> Yo, this nigga Dave comes in here week That's by week. That's how you're supposed week. to drink though. You're supposed to drink it mitts. You can't drink that shit straight. You're not supposed to drink that at all. At all. Or you make um. Wait. You make punches with that. That's you don't even do that. Yo, listen, they 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 sterilize surgery tools with that <laughs> shit. Okay? That's what they use it for. Don't play. You know Niggas what? clean their carburetors <laughs> with that shit. Like, no. <laughs> eh? No way. You drink that. <laughs> Works for me. All right. So <laughs> Yo, Yo nigga Damon is drinking moonshine. I am never again. <laughs> Hit, where, where camera am I at? I mean, this you one, need to name one. I am never <laughs> again going to say the B word. I swear to God. Like, I'm, I've like, like, my that's the punishment. I've <laughs> learned my lesson. I'm not doing that. He said, Mama, I ain't doing it no more. No <laughs> more. I swear. <laughs> not M O R E. M O. So let's mo. get it. You heard the clip. Did you have you heard that already? Because it was it was floating around. Nah, but I got some words for that. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You do that for recreation? <laughs> okay. Yeah, clearly with other shit. If you notice, I'm always like, what's the chaser? Yeah. 
<laughs> all the time, though, right? That's what I say. Hey. You, you have to get his you mental health is okay. Okay, yeah. really quick before we get to this topic. I had cheap shit when I was before we get into this topic, can we can we have a moment in front of the camera? Fuck it. <laughs> when did we decide that that was the shot to take? <laughs> like, what episode was that? When did we like you know when that's the only nigga that's here? So, well, no. What what happened Who was decided that. What, what happened? Was I didn't bring no bottle because today because I want to slap it, whoever it, said. I no. didn't bring a bottle today. What and happened was, always it was supposed to be a, a, some sort of a punishment, and y'all don't like the Savetka, so. Oh no, we did say that's a punishment. Well, y'all used, y'all used no. to bring the henny, so right. But that's also, uh, what is that? What is that sound? What is what's going? It's on? humming. It's humming. Twist yeah. that. Twist that over there. Yeah. So if something is uh. Mm. Yeah. Plug it back. Damn it, man! All right. Can't find a hole, huh? There we go. That's better. There you go. Yeah, Sound yeah, much yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay. Cool. Okay. So yeah. we just we just know that I'm never gonna take that All shot. Right, well, cool, 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 cool. Let's, Let's get it, man. <laughs> so why do women push monogamy if sex is a choice or a chore for the woman? Why does she push monogamy hmm. with the man? And so you had um, yeah, I got some, had some uh, answers because what, what happened was the, if we the, answer this, we're gonna be asking this like. You know, answering this like men. So what we did Damn, is we posed this question like into the in real, into the uh, read it the Willow Wednesday family group. And uh, yeah. uh, AJ said, "But for me, when I start a relationship, I establish boundaries. What are you comfortable with, and what am I comfortable with? If sex becomes a question that you think I can't fulfill, I want you, and you want another girlfriend, or you say you're not comfortable being monogamous." Then I would treat the man accordingly. That's what one young lady said. I hate the way you read. Yeah, the way you read. I, I haven't read any of these. I just screenshot them. Can I read them. it, please? I'm like I honestly just didn't even hear it. If, if you don't I didn't read any of them. I just want to read it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> wow. No, it screenshotted. Shout out to Kobe. Shout out to Keith. What up, y'all? Gonna be able to oh, see you got you. I can't speak for other women. I saw that video of the guy trying to convince his wife of something to this point as well, and mainly laughed at it. But for me, when I start a relationship, I establish boundaries. Um, what are you comfortable with? Uh, what am I comfortable with? Mm-hmm. If sex becomes a question to you um, that you think I can't fulfill and you want another girlfriend, um, are you comfortable with being a monogamist? Mm. If so, I treat that man accordingly. Mm. Um, another one. Uh, I think that some women, keyword on some, some. women, <laughs> uh, feel some. that monogamy goes deeper than just sexual levels. Um, so if other areas are not matched or acknowledged, the desire to be as intimate just because it's a bit harder. That's not even a complete sentence, but that's how they wrote it. Huh. Um, it collectively takes two people to make sure that the relationship is as whole and is balanced. And that extends beyond sexual needs and desires. Mm-hmm. Cool, I'm done reading that one. Next one. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Such a female answer. It is. But um, I don't think that it's in most men's nature to be monogamous. As mm. people, we require whatever we want to require. However... I don't feel that should be expected. What a relationship looks like to each party should be discussed. I wouldn't mind if my man wanted to have somewhat of an open relationship. Mm. You have to communicate your needs, wants, and desires. I wouldn't want him having an emotional relationship with another woman, though. Mm. That's just me. Mm -hmm. A lot of these answers are real. That's a really good answer. Another one. I can only speak for myself. Okay. Monogamy is a requirement to be with me. Gotcha. So making sure my man is sexually satisfied yeah. is part of my responsibility to maintain that relationship. Wow. Now, <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> that's what I said. Let me read it. <laughs> now, he must also remember that naturally his mm. needs for sex is always going to supersede mine. So he is going to have more to work with me. Well, he's going to have. Yeah, that's a run on sentence. He's going to have more to work with me to keep me in the mood as well. Whatever. In my it. last relationship, sex became a chore because my partner was very selfish. Mm. He did the little things he needed to do to get me where he needed me to be. For him. I get it. But ultimately, he just wanted to stick it in. Right. I get that. We got to a point where I literally was like, so what up? We fucking or not? Because I mm. kid you not, this was an actual conversation. Wow. Wow. There's women's there response. There's a lot of great. There's a lot of things that responded. No, I, shout out to the ladies, man. Yeah. No, no, it's that, it's, it's real. It's, y'all, those are some really good listen, answers. We are five guys sitting in a room. We don't have women that we can just have at the panel. Right. So we do appreciate the shout out to all the ladies. Yeah, point of view. Hold up, what were their names? 
Uh, Mira, AJ, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, Shout out to the Willow got, Wednesday you, family. You gotta AJ, show, you gotta Amira, <laughs> Amaris, I don't want to butcher your name, I'm Amaris. sorry. Amaris. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Shea Butter Shantae. Mm-hmm. Shay butter babe. Yeah, these were the ladies that <laughs> answered. So shout out to you. Appreciate you. Love Shea you all. Shay butter Shay. Appreciate all of you. Shay butter babe. <laughs> Shay butter Shante. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Shay butter Shante. Yeah, Come on, right. falsetto babe. I got to know right. Falsetto Dame. <laughs> okay. All right, but um, yeah. So what you think about some of them answers? I, I have a story. Oh so shit! Oh that's wait a minute! I like stories. Story story time. Oh, you got a story, but just a story time with y'all. I'm over here grabbing yeah. a cup like I have something to drink. Fuck it. What's my sprite? Yeah. It is. <laughs> so I have a friend that I went to college with, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's it called? He was married when we were in college. Oh, he's right. wilding. Yeah, yeah. But he was an older guy. <laughs> he got it much older. <laughs> 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 shit. <laughs> it's college. <laughs> it's college. It You're married in college, okay? Well, I went to full. Wallet. I went to full sale. It wasn't like a normal. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. right, like on. people, people be there like you yeah. Know. You can go to full sale now. Yeah, you can go to yeah, full sale. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. So, what's it called? He was what's it called? He was married, and I found out something very interesting about his relationship, specifically relating to this topic. Okay. okay. So, he was what's it called? He was married, Jinx. and <laughs> go ahead. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I missed it. And I Can I go a step further? <laughs> yeah. I'm drinking the soda. So like, you owe me a soda. <laughs> I'm so fucking bad. Okay. No. Yeah. But at the... <laughs> I hate you. No, still, no, no, no. It was I... such a little kid thing that just <laughs> happened just now. I, know. Said, I missed Jinx. it. I know. <laughs> you know he said, Jinx, you owe me a soda. I was drinking the soda. He said, Jinx. I'm like, fuck, I owe him a soda. <laughs> but whatever. Little kid shit. Sorry. Yeah. So he was married. And I used to go over to the crib and hang out and whatnot. And... He would tell so one of the things that he told me is like he said that they, I was because like obviously when you know when someone really becomes the homie, you really know like what they, what they doing, right? Yeah. So this dude paid for sex. Wow. Yeah. Outside of his relationship. Yeah. And I was. Just, I've never in my life done that. Yeah. And you talking about like actual cash for have, sex? Yeah. Have y'all? Not dates. Yeah. Because about, you we've all, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, we've wait, all wait, paid, wait, bro. Hold up. You dinner movie? Yeah, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay but that's what I'm trying to make it clear. We what, all paid. What blew minds though is that she helped pay for it. Mm-hmm. That's a supportive wife. Was well, she she's very supportive? What, was blue I'm minds was she like helped pay? pay what, what he told me. What he told me was that. <laughs> what he told me was that. She didn't always. What's it called? She was a relatively like they both loved each other, and I believe this, right? Like yeah. I seen the I seen the relationship. Like they were very close, and it's not that they didn't have sex, but she knew that within herself that she couldn't fulfill. His sexual needs Shit. as often mm-hmm. as he wanted, and this is where like communicate. This was like the most. This was like the most. It, me it, off don't get bit. me wrong. This is, this shit sounds crazy, but yeah. I was like, this this is like communication at another level. And that's his wife. Yeah. Women, but women still ha- wait, wait, wait. women have higher sex drives than men. <laughs> Not me. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Women have higher sex drives than oh, men. Trust but, me. But all I'm saying is that in this case, okay, in this case, it, honestly, it's, it's, well. well I'm sorry. No. So they what's it called? So they had it because they, they were getting ready. Like he was just like he actually was just like, look, you know, he had that real hard conversation. I think a lot of men would probably be afraid to have to mm-hmm. be like, look, mm-hmm. you know, because I mean, it's a hard thing to tell your partner. Like, you, are they still married? I need more. Yeah, yeah, I need more sex than what you were. Are they still married? Yeah, they're still married. But is that hard? You think that's hard? I think that's hard for a lot of men to make because it's a delicate thing. <laughs> no, for a lot of men, it is. Yeah. I get what he's saying. Because 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 you have to now tell your partner a sexually. Because I think you're women, not doing enough for me. Yeah, to, but okay, that's different. So yeah. so Dan, that's making sense. They're not. Dan, no. that's literally one, one one thing. One thing that me and you had a conversation on recently. Uh-huh. It's what you say and how you say it. Oh, one hundred. I promise. I promise you, you can deliver any message oh, with yeah. the right word. Hold on, but you I never want, say that. But I, but I want to get to you a, never say that. I want to get to a main point, and it's kind yeah. of what it was hinting at. Yeah, what uh, that means is someone shit. who someone who Facts. someone who said a comment about the emotional attachment okay because she said the only way that she would be able to be okay Uh uh-huh because she said she she fully acknowledged that she wasn't going to be they they talked about it multiple times and it kind of came to a head okay and it was just like where are we going to go from here and both of them were like well i don't want to leave you we don't we don't want to leave each other i like that though and yeah they said we don't want to leave each other so they were just like okay here's what we're gonna do Mm -hmm. i like what's that called here's what we're gonna do i can't even be like Here's the thing. You can't go out and find somebody random mm-hmm. 
Mm. Because no matter what, there's always the chance that you might develop some sort of emotional attachment to somebody. And when you're just trying to find, and when you just sort of meet somebody off the street or whatever, or you just meet somebody randomly in life, conversation it's, has to take. Place. In all likelihood, it's probably going to be. There's probably going to be. Yeah, there has some conversation has to take place. You're not just going to randomly have sex with somebody. Hey, do you want to fuck? Yeah, like you know, it's not going to happen like but that. But that happens. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. That happens. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. That happens. But that person still has the chance of becoming attached to you in some way, Facts. shape, or form. That can happen. Flex. So they didn't want any room for error in that department. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So that's why they agreed to have this sort of arrangement. And I, granted, I could. I, wait, they're so, both strong. All oh, I gotta say I, is that, okay. Wait, that wait, was both a, strong. All I gotta say was that's the most different thing. And yes. I don't know wait, wait, if so, I could do that. I so, can't. I can't do that. I, I'll tell you so, now, so, wait, man to man, quick, I cannot so, deal with that. Yeah. So, I got so it. they're so, very strong. So she helped pay for it to just make it sexual. Yeah. I couldn't. Because she said the only way that honestly, she could wrap her, the only way she could wrap her mind around it was if it if it was purely trans trans transactional. I'm, but you wow. know what? No, but on some real shit, I, I'm not saying that I would do that. I don't know, but you that's noble it, it, as it, fuck. And you know what she told? And you know what she told? I would fall in love with that woman. That's trying to make it work. Yeah. No, what yeah. I'm saying, I would fall in love with that woman. And what I'm saying is not her. You know, obviously, but I'm saying that concept. Yeah. Remember when I told y'all last week we was talking about things that are sexy more than sexy and I told you when you can take your emotion out of a situation yeah. and literally logically look at it and say well this logically makes sense yeah. so let's do this fuck how we feel emotionally because mm -hmm. you we all you know, you know what I mean but I like that like that that to me I'm like oh that's my wife like I'd be like yes because we're just li we can look at the situation and say well, wait what makes more sense for our situation. Mm. I'm not like uh you know I'm, I'm not one of them people. I and can take my emotion the, out. That's the, crazy. The craziest part about it. So wow. I actually she actually told like after That's after he me. told me he actually told her like hey I told Josh about this because like he knows us both. That's my yeah. man's whatever. Yeah. You know I felt comfortable enough to tell him. So so like I didn't I never wanted to bring it up but she mm. she, she, she told me, but she wanted to have a conversation with me about That's it. Crazy. Wow. And she told me and I and I told her I was just like I because I didn't I was a much younger person I was just like wow I was just like. This is. I was like, I, I wasn't gonna be disrespectful. I was like, yo, this is different. Yeah. And and she told me she's just like, well, what if I told you to this way? She's like, I don't pay. I was like, the reason why I pay for part of it is not because I want him to have sex with somebody. I pay for that person to leave. Yeah. You That's pay for what them I'm to paying go. for. That's what you pay for them to lose the number. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is. That's why people pay for sex. Yeah. So it's never the same girl. It's not. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, yeah. I don't know the. I don't know I about that. About, yeah. That's great. I like it. So I can't front. So like in, terms of, in terms of in terms of of the question that was asked, what do you? How do you gentlemen feel? First and foremost, do you agree with the question that he asked? Do you do you disagree? Let me let me let me start. How there. many more topics we got? My fault. So I'm trying to get through. Uh, why do women push monogamy if sex is a chore? Yes. Or a choice. Do you feel like that's something that women do? First off, Willa, let me let me let me just ask that. Um, it, it, it's sure. it's tough because I, I don't know if everyone heard the whole entire clip. Right, I have. So when I heard both arguments and both sides, did it. When when I when I hear both sides, um, I do feel like when marriage is introduced, mm -hmm. and it's a, it it is like a it's a flag in the ground. Cool. Boom, I'm marriage. with you, you with me. Right. This is what we're doing. Right. This is all we can do. Boom, heard it. Right? Now, in their relationship, and this is why I say it differs, mm -hmm. in their relationship, it seems like he is initiating, 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 initiating. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And he's like, well, you signed up for this. Mm. You wanted to be married to me. You don't want me to have no other partners. So because of that, you have to match my sex drive. I think, once again, it comes down to compatibility. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a conversation of compatibility. Hey. At the time, I, yes. How many times How many times a week do you want to have sex? What's a good number? Are, you just said it the other week. Mm -hmm. You was on a gas station pill. You fucked shorty brainless. A half. You brought her to a fucking, you brought her to Pound Town. And guess what? The very next day, she, said, she hits up? you up like, what's up? You was like, whoa, chill out. Right. That means, honestly, her sex drive is way higher than yours. Mm -hmm. You cannot fuck with her. Most mm -hmm. women's most women's sex drive is higher. Than it's higher. But like you said, uh, wait, in the wait, same wait, clip. Wait, let, me, let me finish. I didn't finish. What, what I'm trying to say is, I've always said this from jump. Sex don't happen if the, dicks don't, if the dick don't get hard. True. Straight like that. 
Sex don't happen if the dick don't get hard. And that's why it relies mainly on men for shit to happen. Yeah. Right? So women just receive for the most part. Yeah, they do a little something. They might throw a little twist on it, do a little twang on the thing. But twang on the thing. Twang on the thing. You heard? After that. Twang you know on what I'm the saying? Thang. They do a little twang on the thing. Twang thang. on my thing. But thang. other than that, it's up to the man to get hard. Because if not, sex don't happen. Right? right. And what I, what so, I was... Got, go ahead, Bar. You just want to go so no, bad. No, I was going <laughs> to... I wasn't even finished. Go I'm ahead. in the middle of the statement. Go ahead, go ahead, cause you 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 you, you, you giving it off. Go ahead, give your shit off. Get your shit off. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? Go ahead. I just said go ahead, bro. All right. Shout out to the sponsor. Um. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Pass that um, to the brother. Ooh. Wow. You good? I'm straight, bro. You sure? Positive, bro. Anyway, no, but um, I get it. Um, to me, in their relationship, he has a higher sex drive than her. So right. that's why he has he feels like he has two legs to stand on and he can ask that question. Right. Um if you wanted me and you wanted this, why sign up for it if it's going to be a chore right. to you? No. Right? And, and I'm not going to defend uh, her cuz I number one I hated that it took us so goddamn long to even answer the question. But it's a woman. But it but that blew me and and even that's, when See, and, that's bashing. No, no, that's no, bashing. no. I just I can that's and watch, did you watch the whole thing? Did you watch the Did you watch the whole thing? That's not racist. <laughs> no. Oh, what? my bad. Did my you bad. watch the whole You watched yeah, the whole show. She eventually got it got it around um but bro the first the first thing she did was like well i didn't say that it's like whoa like I, hold on I, and he did a great job of keeping her on and, and after they t talked around it for like 10 minutes and finally got back to where she said well which i fucked with though when she finally got to it took too damn long but she finally mm -hmm. got to she said well the expectation of what we were at that time was different right than the expectation of what, what we are is, 10 yeah. years later bro you pop out a kid two kids three. she was like she jobs, three college kids. three it's, kids man shit changed she so was just like her sex changed. drive may be like, different i'm and I was, tired i was I, like that's at the same time men, noble at the same time man let's be honest we don't deal with the kids like our they women will it. it's, it's a different level sure, right like sure i have two of them trust me i know i don't sure. like wi then, women do that for real so they're more tired so in her in her defense she's when like she got to I'm it tired, i was like tired. I, it took a long time it's when real, she got no, down, I respect but, it. and then it, what happens in life is that men as we get older our sex drive declines is just what it is. They do scientifically. You get 30, it comes say, down. You get 35, and then as the woman it comes gets down. Older, 40, as, right. And as, as the woman get older, gets older, it grows. hers goes up. And right. so typically, when you're young, 20s, you can have this conversation as a man. Like, Yo, I just want sex. Because, nigga, I fuck 10 30s. times a day. Like, I 30s. loved it. You want to have sex. When I was 22, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm older now. So huh. my body is like, nigga. Um, now it's like, look, you get a one yeah. good and half a round. Right. Listen. <laughs> for but, but, but women, the gas it grows. You know what I'm saying? And just That's why they, that's why. Why Barry got the gas station yeah, yeah, he pill. Was he was prepared. He was prepared. Give me, give me, give me pound on the gas. So that's station and I was pill, speaking bro. to your point. You, you, you're still young, bro. As you get older, ten years from now, your body don't move the same way. It just don't <laughs> legit. And if you had twenty years, listen, we had practice. Yeah, you know I'm day. saying when well, you forty so four. <laughs> I'm not that old. No, you are. I just I've, I've noticed like my body can't do the same shit. <laughs> you get to be my age, you know. You gotta go. To hey, the I store, just noticed that shit, bro. I ain't never had the bottle <laughs> pill. So I'm good. My dick works itself, but <laughs> nigga said you gotta go to the store and buy a penis. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta buy a whole penis. <laughs> Say my penis is off today. <laughs> yo, I'm trying to tell you. He be like, listen, listen. Wait. Wait. I don't give a shit. Yo, young, yo, listen, young fellas. Wait. <laughs> listen, the like, older you gonna get, bro, he I'm gonna be you like, yo, shit. if you gonna ride, you yo, gotta take your time. If you could buy a detachable, a uh, detachable. detachable. If you could buy, if you could buy a detachable <laughs> penis and use it, would you? No, nigga. What, I, what the fuck? I'm gonna feel. That's a deal, though. I know. I, I'm just saying, if you could use it, probably already got some of them in the drawer. No, they already. definitely got those. Yeah, right, you know what I'm right, saying. Right, and right. so think about it. And men say that you could do with the deal. The, 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 what? What I men said? I did what you what, did. What you a man said? Earlier. What a man said? What a man said? I was really speaking to his point. Uh, no, oh, no, my bad. No, 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 no I was speaking. Say, I, I stuttered. This man said you could buy a dildo and do what? That's not yeah. what I said. Yes, you did. I started, nigga. No. Oh, she, oh, she had the gas station pill on you, nigga. The, heard the, she did, nigga. Oh. Let's get this last topic before we go, oh. man. I have one last thing to say. No, yes, Josh, sir. damn it. Yeah, yeah. He's a yeah, nigga. Punch I know. him. Punch him. Yeah. No, Josh, punch him. I know, I, yeah. I know when he don't mean it, though. <laughs> I already know. I don't mean it. Why do I? Well, the only thing I was going to say is, like, the reason why I brought up the story that I brought up, though, because I completely forgot to say, if I'll say this off the top, is I don't think... He describing monogamy as having sex with multiple partners. Monogamy, in my opinion, is not really, and I don't think, I don't know the definition 
of monogamy, but to me, I thought monogamy was actually having multiple relationships, like real relationships with somebody. And I think those are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I think, what's it called? I think that he kind of, the way he framed that, maybe maybe just because a lot of people assume like, oh, if you're having sex with multiple partners, like that's a polyamorous relationship. No, a polyamorous relationship is if you are literally in dating a relationship with, with, with multiple, multiple people. people. What, he's, what he's describing is still being with that same partner, mm. but having sex with other partners. That's oh, what wow. he's actually describing. He's well, not describing yeah, that But it's pretty much saying you, you, got, you got sex on hold, mm. but I'm with you. So... I got to be on hold because you on hold. Yeah, and but yeah, what I, I, and I'm not trying to criticize him. You know like, what I'm saying like, I'm just I, saying the premise, the oh, way he framed it. Whenever with, she doesn't want to cook, you get takeout. Mm. Right, but it, mm. God damn it, do you understand? Yeah, yes. yo, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 it's, it's, it's like it's like today. it's like you don't want to wash. Cool, no, I wash. You know what I'm saying? There's other options. I don't know if you've been listening. I ain't gonna hold you. Wait, wait, in this bag. No, but but you get it. It's like it's like there's always other options. Yo, we need a Wade's corner. Yeah, we do. We need a Wade's corner. We go. We do. When it comes to sex, we need a Wade's corner. Wade be talking like a man that's forty year old, forty years old with Kanye. You feel me? Like he is experienced. Got a little bottle of Kanye. You know what it is? And I'm just like, how does he? How does he say these things? I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Twenty six years old. I will tell you why. He graduated college. No, no, no. You're you're laughing. I'm dead at. Really? Oh. When you graduate a, co- a university well, and you gra- don't take the gas station, what if I graduated? So did I. Oh damn! You tried to fuck you them know. up. No, you graduated a music school. That don't count. He went to a school. school. He graduated you college. Went to school. You said what? Why well, did you go to acting school? Well, you went to acting school. My school is known for like the act- You went to LaGuardia? No. Wait, 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 wait. Josh <laughs> graduated college, college too. Hold on, hold on, wait. But you're an actor? No, is I'm that- not an actor. Okay, no. I'm just you went to acting school to not no, act? But no. did you see what I'm trying to say? So I went to acting school for screenwriting and play screenwriting and playwriting. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, I'm not even talking shit. Wait, I just wait, was wait, like, wait. so so you can write you can write you, you can, can write you're, screenplays? You're a screenwriter? So you're you can write a Willow Wednesday. So whole time we could have been writing movies? No, no, because remember I want to do the video I did. We told my No, no, because now I'm about to fight you. Yeah. I ain't know. But what I was okay, can we can we get back cool. to the topic real cool. quick? Right, let me ask you. Then we gotta knock this last topic. Let me ask you. So, in, in if in listening to 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 the to the whole thing, she indirectly did agree with the statement of saying because in the clip, that same clip, she says, oh, "I never forced monogamy on anybody," and he said, "Yes, you did because if I wanted to be with you, if I wanted to only be mm-hmm. with you, I had to marry you." In no ifs ands or buts about it because you said to me, "Yo." I'm not about to just shack up with you forever and ever. If you want this cookie still, you have to marry me. That's what my mom yeah, she, she, my forced, she forced So my mama indirectly, she said, dad. okay, yeah, I get it. I understand, but it's not me forcing you. All right. But that, 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 neither, Whatever, that's cool. neither here that. James but, Matthews said, I dig you, brothers, but sex drive is relative to the individual at any given time. I'm 41, and some weeks I can't get enough. And other weeks, I'll be like, don't touch me after she done cleaned the dude out. So he's just talking about his sex. Oh, drive. okay. Yeah. I was just like, maybe he's just really messy. No, no, no. He's, talking about, he's talking about his <laughs> no, sex drive. I got drive. you, I got you, I got you. Bro, you. sex drive is real. Yeah. Bro, you, you 94 years old. Like when you, years after you, carbon when, dating. You know, when you, bro, we, we had to thaw Dame out <laughs> for him to be alive again. Like, That's he, like, like, what movie is that? The, the, the Militia Man. There you, you go. You feel me? You remember Wild Wild West? When the nigga was the, the head on top of the body, oh, it's yeah. Dame's head on top of him. Let's get this last topic and get the fuck out of here, man. Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. I, I didn't realize what time it was. Yeah, we need to get that last topic. Last right, cool. Because then we did it. Let's do it. We're talking about, about pregnant people. We got to do Word? it. Knock it out. That's the last Mediator, one. moderator, road call, select <laughs> did it. temporary level, highly toxic, Everyone. half a pill, gas pill, Bari. Jeez. HPB. Bari. You made me sound nasty, bro. HPB, you good. Dating while pregnant. Have you ever? Would you ever? We I f- we talked about this already. I have had sex with a pregnant young lady, but I didn't know she was pregnant until after the fact. Would I date? Like, yes, dating. No, I would not. I say this really quick. I've never dated someone who was pregnant, and I've I would never, never date I've someone never, if it's and not I my not. baby. If it's not mine, I can't do that. But yeah, that's I've, me. I have never. I have never dated, and I would never date a woman that is pregnant. Never, ever, 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 ever. That's me. And that's Why? Mari. Why? Because I always feel like the the Good question. The, the, the baby Good daddy question. is the father. <laughs> the father is always going to be there at that particular point in time, and I feel like the emotional attachment that's in your womb will always, at that present point in time, will always be on your mind. 
and I really am selfish in that department. But what if she's everything and everything? Anything and everything you've ever wanted. She mm. can't be everything I've ever wanted because she's, she's pregnant, pregnant right else. now. It's not a. She can't it's not that. about. It's not about having a child because that's nothing. I'm talking about at that time you are you haven't fully conceived life yet. Okay. So because of that, so you're then, gonna constantly be bro, thinking so about me, the life that you're about to live. I'm going to answer this the same way I answered it the last time when we spoke about. Okay, this. real quick. If a woman, you can say real quick. Let me finish it. No, because I want to change the scenario. Bro, for that. No, let him answer the first and then we change it. Cool. What I'm saying is. Me, if I'm a man and I'm out at a club or whatever, and a woman comes to me and she's pregnant and she's like, oh, but you know, I'm feeling you. I would look at her like she's different. I feel like a pregnant woman should have more regards and more standards for herself to be like, I'm pregnant. Let me chill the fuck out. Let me sit this out. I'll be on the sideline right now. It's okay. I'm not going to be a starter. I'm still on the team. I'm just not playing right now. It's Give okay. me four months like, till yeah, the baby pop. Let, let me pop this baby out and then I get back to it. If you out and about... And you pregnant with another nigga baby and you still out on these streets and you for the streets, totally you are wilding. You wilding. Sis, you're bugging the fuck out. Chill out. Stay that home. Means legitimately, pop the baby you have out. Respect. I don't and think then, you and, and then when and then yourself. and then when you pop the baby out, then we can talk. I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna yeah, court you and you're pregnant with another nigga baby. I'm sorry. That's just me. Jay Willow, I'm done. No, I'm agreeing. The the way it happened to me, um, I met a chick and we were you know, we were dating and then she was pregnant for like a month and she didn't know and so what had happened if you think about how months work month one whatever we meet in month two she doesn't know so right around two three we meet we get to talking couple two three weeks later she's like oh shit i'm pregnant and i'm like well because she didn't know you don't a lot of times you don't know that first. no no i'm not like, arguing let's just call it a buck like she didn't right. know like legit she didn't fucking know and so we talking and she's like, oh shit, I'm pregnant. I'm like, word? You know me, ain't mine. First thing, I'm, I'm quick. <laughs> <It ain't laughs> Not mine. me. <laughs> Deadbeat. And uh, yeah, one thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> add, add, add that to his name. <laughs> Demo the Deadbeat. Lamo. <laughs> oh, dead. Demo. Never. No, Demo. Never been a dad, Lamo. <laughs> oh, no, Demo. Yeah, always much. been a deadbeat. Never been a Lamo. Yeah, I can't. We, do nah, see? we can't. Yeah. It's too, it's too yeah. She it's is too, full yeah. of shit. You see, they <laughs> can add all these Pilbari. fucking names to me. <laughs> Shut up, half pill, Barry. My t shirt. My t shirt. My t shirt. My t shirt is long as shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers. My t shirt mad long. <laughs> you got to pay for the extra word. Yeah. A, <laughs> it's a veil in the back. It's just rolling up. I got a shawl, nigga. The fuck out of here. Fuck y'all. But no, I got no, a cardigan. All right, so no, but in real talk, I, it, I did meet a chick. Like I said, she was pregnant, but she didn't know. So we're we're talking. Blade said everybody tapping that, hitting that baby forehead. That baby getting poked in the nose because y'all want to have sex with a pregnant lady. Imagine y'all he was terrible. on a gas station pregnant pill, pregnant and now you want a gas station pill, uh, and you fucking that baby nose up. I mean, come on now. So he's so out of I, my life. So you do, you wouldn't stay with that girl, baby, like this. You wouldn't stay? No. No, I'm not staying with you. What Even if she if you really just didn't find out. And maybe it was no. her ex. They were together for five years. It's, no, it's that is not my responsibility. That's a lot. Yo, hey, I feel like, yo, to say, hey, I'm dating you, and then I find out you're pregnant now, I have to take up the responsibility of, of being that baby daddy. No, I'm and, and dealing with the... Is- but what if she says you don't have to? Yeah, you could just be your How mom's you, special okay. friend. Yeah, but, let, let, but let me ask you this, There's Josh. no way you can deal with a woman, woman with a child, child and, and not be in that child's life. There's no way. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Of course, no, 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 of course you're right, because that's a fantasy. That's a, that's no, no, a fantasy. That's, that's what I'm to say. There's no way you can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you can do that. Absolutely. You're 100% right about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But what if you're not the number one? It doesn't matter. How are you not the number one when she's dating you? If you are dealing with that woman... And she's it's dealing pregnant. with you. And she's and pregnant. You, y'all are together. Trust you me, you're number one. There's no way. You're for example, number one. For example, that, that, baby, Josh. That, that baby daddy could come and go. It doesn't matter. She's in a stable relationship with you. Why I say that, Josh? Mm-hmm. She's pregnant. Six months. Mm-hmm. She's having Brexton Hicks contractions. Oh, you don't have to be there. The baby daddy, he ain't shit. Uh, who's she calling? Him? No, but yeah. what if the baby daddy ain't shit? That's what I'm trying to say. What if he's there? You what, are if still he's a, what if he's a responsible human yeah, being? Yeah, but girl, guess what? Valid. Yeah, valid. That's what okay, I'm saying. Valid, that's valid. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What if he's like, I want to be there for my I'm kids? I'm saying for you, for your, for your ex. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you're yeah. there for your kid or whatever. Yep. You're responsible. Yep. Father, mm-hmm. you're not you're not the number two. You're the number one. That's right. a your Absolute. kid. That's Absolutely. Your kid. That's but guess what? She's still calling her man. She's still calling her man. She still is. 
No, no, no. I'm saying that that's fine. But if it's a good, but like, to, to, yeah, to, so to name go. my baby. So hopefully somebody jo- fathers no, this Josh, child. Josh, you brought up a good ass point. You nah, brought up you, a good point. Know. But but can I wait, throw this cap the, at wait. you again? <laughs> God damn but, you! But, 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 <laughs> wait, honestly. But but but, but, but we're okay. I just want to because I feel the same way. Like uh-huh. let's say I was let's just hypothetically say I was like, you have to be something in that child. If I was dating, you don't have to be the number one. If I was dating your baby mom, for instance, and I didn't know you obviously situationally, I would be like. Oh, now he a good daddy. He got it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we but y'all, um, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, he it, good. It, yeah. But, nah, I, he feel good. Like, I feel like, I feel like, yo, y'all still missing a key element to hey, it. She is pregnant. Oh, okay. she is pregnant with a child. Okay. So, yes, yeah, she's calling the child's father. Of course. But at the end of the day, you are now dealing with a pregnant woman that is not pregnant by you. Good point, Bari. Bring it back home. And I'm Bring not doing home. that. If I impregnate you, why am I dealing with a pregnant you. That you get to enjoy. The I'm pregnant not dealing. Nah, pregnant pussy cool, but that pregnant attitude. That pregnant attitude but, that I didn't make. I'm not pregnant, dealing with that. Pregnant, Are you crazy? You can leave. Them. No, the way we. No, no, no. But hello. You, pregnant you attitude. You me now. That's the okay, conversation. Okay, 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 you can be attitude. Now you're my baby. Hit me out. But that's the whole time. Now you understand where I'm at. Topic. Hell, he's where I'm at. That is the whole topic. Hello. But wait, hit me out. Not my baby. Pregnant attitude. And pregnant problems is cool when you're the person that impregnated them. That's a lot of peace. Yeah. If, Good job. Come on now. I'm for getting that out. Yeah, me, a lot of peace. But if you're not, <laughs> and you're the side person yeah. who didn't get you impregnated, <laughs> then you shouldn't be the person with the problem. <laughs> For real, I won't yo, be there because people. So that's the whole com- try that's the whole to topic. play. That's the whole topic. Like they've been putting off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bullshitting now. No, but that's the whole topic. But, 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 but wait, that's the whole topic in the first place. Are you gonna Are you gonna date someone who is pregnant? I'll date I'm you. not. I'm not dating you. How are I'm you not, gonna nope. date someone? I wouldn't date. Like I can't but. do it. Just for the experimentation. In conclusion, in the experimentation, I'm young, but I've like, never had pregnant pussy before. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Hey, hey, I'll tell hey, you why hey, pregnant hey, pussy is good. Hey, I'm hey, gonna tell you why hello. pregnant pussy good. Fire. I'm gonna tell you why. That's I'm pregnant. pregnant. Look, so look, why would I deny no, myself? No, no, that? Hey, wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, I'm wait, wait, two different wait, wait. Why would I deny myself? Wait, why would I? Look me, look me in the eyes right now. You ready? Fucking and dating two different. Excuse me. Ready for this? Pregnant pussy good. Pregnant, pregnant pussy good. Cause the baby be crying. In the womb, uh, and all the tears make the pussy wet. Uh, That's why pregnant pussy hey, no, good. No, okay, hey, you heard hey, it no, here no, first. Wait, 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 wait. Just like that, Willow Wednesday just done wait, 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 pussy ah. lit. Hey, real quick, hard, shout out to everybody who watched. Everybody hit the like and share button. Text Play a record. The church. Yo, oh, so really real quickly, quick though, please. We have we did not talk about our sponsor. I was We've just about fucking to get this to up it. all night. I was gonna get to um, it. I was gonna say. I don't. I, I'm, okay. I'm gonna try to find a right. song. And low key, Go Josh ahead. did it well last yeah, week. Just give me the bottle. Can right. you do this? Wait, wait. Before you can, I, let me go and pray that you, you, you say that. You know, Barry gotta say his spiel at the end. I gotta say everything to everybody. Then Josh let his shit get off. Let 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 Barry get. Thank you to the Brooklyn Podcast Studios. If you have a if you have a podcast. You're gonna get off the ground, an audio book, a uh, uh, reading, whatever the fuck you wanna do. Come to Josh, he's the guru of the shit, the godfather. He will hook you up, say our name, and he won't give you a discount. Like I always say. No discount at all. No, no discount. Worth hey, regular price. Price. But he is worth every Free fucking pen. penny. Worth That's a penny. fact. Shout out. Support black businesses like his hat says. Also, don't touch my hat, bro. Be condoms. I'm not niggas They out. are the greatest condoms in the world. I have used them. And I am vouching for him. You liked it better than like Trojans? Yes, I did. You wild like, selfish. Can I get a fucking box, my nigga, bro? You got all the, you got all the kind of. You're married. I don't have no, one. It doesn't matter. Bro. But how how we have a whole sponsor? You, and you threw them ho- shits on the table and it took them, back. And it took them all back. <laughs> it was like because <laughs> you're married. <laughs> And so what if me or what if me and my what wife want to be protective one night? What if that turns us on? What if, oh baby, let's be protective the night. Ask her if you can use a condom and see what she says. That's say. never turned on. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I've literally lost an erection because of a condom. I'm oh, dead serious. I'm dead serious. Before. I've lost an erection. But not be condoms. <laughs> Good plug. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but shout out to be condoms. Use the code WWS20 and you will get a discount on thanks to Willow Wednesdays. Take it away, but Josh. All right. I'm gonna, t- I'm, I'm Go. gonna, I'm gonna do this by, I'm gonna do this real quickly by telling a story. What's up? All right. All right. So, I got a liquor card at home, despite the fact that I don't really drink all that much. Me and my wife don't really even drink all that much. But you know what? But when we want to drink, when we want to calm down, when we're ready, when we need a social lubricant Ooh. in our lives, mm. we walk over to the liquor card, and we have many choices. And two weeks ago, 
Because we like to savor things and have just a little bit. Because we want things to last long. We want it to last. So I was perusing through my liquor card. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. And I had a lot of good choices. Save it, save it. Things from different countries. What they say is save it. And then I found myself looking at a bottle of lifted spirits. Lifted, lifted, tea. Save it, save it. And it brought me a sense of pride because got a save it, save it. That was the only liquor that I knew. Made by somebody that I know. Talk about it. A black woman. A black woman. I'm going to say it again. A black woman. Black woman. Handmade. Handmade. Homemade. 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 With all the ingredients on the front of the bottle. Save it, save it. front of the bottle. And it gave me a sense of pride. And I said, you know what? I turned to my wife and I said, what do you say? Hold on. Save it, save it. Shh. We drinking some lifted tonight. Oh! Mm. You supposed to drop the beat again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you missed the cue. <laughs> so, save it, save it. if you want a delicious save it, spirit, save if you want to support your people, if you want something where you know what's inside of it, and just to give you a hint of what's inside of it, I'm holding a bottle of King Pink Trip. Goddamn King Pink Trip. Let's go. We got lemongrass. Lemon. Lemongrass. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. We got sage. Woo! Talk to him. The main alcohol, which is scotch whiskey. Scotch whiskey. Cognac orange flavor. Liqueur. Sorry, I fucked that up. It's cognac orange liqueur. Blue agave. Lemon and lime. We feeling nice. So what you need to do, and even if you are a person of the, uh, how shall I say, um, green persuasion, and would like your uh, drinks infused, what, 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 you supposed to come back with it, come on, come on, you can't lose it, you can't lose it, you can't lose it, you can't lose it, say it again, Dave. That is options as well. Because in my story next week, I'm going to tell you about how uh-huh. I went in my refrigerator, in refrigerator. and my mind got altered. Uh-oh. Praise the Lord. But that's for next week. Mm. Stay tuned on my cool cats and friends out there. All right, y'all, man, we got to go. <laughs> Play the record. Hey, I'm not going to hold you. That was fire. <laughs> I was very, very fire. Shout out to Brother Josh. Was it yeah, there man. for Brooklyn Podcast Studio? Yeah. <laughs> shout that. out to Brother you Josh for Brooklyn Podcast Studio. Yo, play something good. Oh, we turn it up just a little bit. Ooh. Turn me up, turn you me up, man. This? New Jay Willa featuring Damo. Look, man, we out, man. Appreciate y'all. See y'all next week. Love yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. We been hella down for a while. You been fronting in the crowd. We been bugging, trying to make this money pile. Look, I ain't coming down for a while. Keep on fronting on the sound. Better dug, dug when you hit a bow. Look, I've been chasing bass for a minute. I see they get offended. All this cat, cat, cash in my sense. Look, I've been a man for a minute. She's cheating on a man. Hit my damn, damn, dance while I'm in it. Look, I could change your life, though. Rubber band. Get the bust then ain't nothing when she throw it Gotta touch her neck and looking like a light show Never from boy, do this shit for none Niggas know if it's love, then it's love We be alright though